Tjus Shim Sago Time for an Ote Jewi Zone van Itre.
种。Good morning, everyone. How you guys doing? <clears throat> banana, banana, penis, vagina, like to punch bananas in the face. But I, I'm doing sound testing without background music. This is great. I, I was, I was gone for two days, and, and now I don't know how to stream anymore. <laughs> Sir, you appear to be several days late. Yes, yes, yes. I know, but I have a good reason. I have a good reason to be late because. I got the pre-release, and the uh, embargo was until yesterday evening, and I've been testing around a little bit to show you the things. If you have Paradox's ear, please ask them to look into the Move Great Monument command, because from what I tested, it is broken. BROKEN! Uh, move Monument, there's only like a couple that you can actually move. I don't know if they've added any new ones that you can move. Uh, I haven't looked at all of, uh, I, actually no I did I am pretty sure I looked at all of them uh, let me get some music on the go here I'm just gonna type in African in epidemic sound and click something yeah boy testing one testing two I like to punch bananas in the face but not on Monday every other day of the week is fine but not Monday all right let's just jump right into the game and I'll show you what you want to see uh, Zulu government reform, Zulu government reform, Zulu government reform is fucking fantastic, okay? <laughs> Zulu government reform is ace, because it gives you something that, uh, is not religion locked, which, um, the Prussian government reform is, and it's basically the Prussian government reform, but it's not, uh, locked behind religion, which means the max discipline that you can get just went up. So. Uh, that, that's pretty interesting. But you will have to play a Zulu, which you can't form until Tech 15. Uh, and you need to release them and play as, and then you'll be a two province minor. Um, yeah, so there's basically that. Um, anyway, let's first, first, before we do anything, let's uh, just jump right into a normal game. So I can... Uh, show you some of the cool monuments. Are there new Jewish provinces? Not that I know of, no. You need to be like Morocco to have max discipline? I guess you could... Uh, no, you'd need to just start as Mutapa because I don't think you can form that, so... Maybe you can form Zimbabwe? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But we can test that as well. Alright, hold on, I'm gonna do TI. Uh, can they show the new achievements? Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if I can, because... Uh, well, maybe I can, actually. Maybe I can. Because uh, it's not in Steam yet. I'm pretty sure. As I tried looking for it, but I had to go into the achievement files to check the achievements. Um, and I'm not sure they're in here yet. No, they're not in here yet. So, maybe I can if I start an Iron Man game I can show you. Uh, but because they're not on Steam yet, I probably can't show you. But there's, there's some very cute ones. 
They'll be in the game, if I recall correctly. Right, yes. Uh, show us the Dutch monument. I Hold on. I will show you some of the cool ones. Uh, yeah, if there's a monument that you really want to like see what it does... Uh, there's a lot of new ones. I believe there's like 52 new monuments, which doubled the amount from last time. Uh, there's a lot of new ones in Italy, uh, and they're all synchronized very nicely with each other. So over here in Venice, you've got the Doge's Palace, which gives you reform progress growth, and that works now, by the way. This works. So over here you get um, yearly prestige and reform progress growth, but if you are a republic, if you are a republic, instead of prestige, it gives you, well, it gives you the prestige, but it also gives you 0.50 Republican tradition at max thing, and reform progress goes plus 30%. So this is a very useful wonder indeed, and you're playing as Venice, so you can afford it too, which is very nice. Um, then over here you have the Royal Palace of Caserta, which gives a reform progress growth, golf cap, and yearly prestige. Very interesting. Uh, over here we have the Santa Maria del Fiore, which gives uh, advisor cost reduction, which again, Italy, oh, 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 so nice. And then over here you get, what is this, uh, yearly papal influence and resistance to reformation. Uh, so yeah, if you can form Italy, you have this, you got oh, so many points, so much money, so much good stuff, it's, oh, Italy, Italy, Italy. Ah, but we're, wait, there's more in Italy, and this is one of the two most, uh, um, I think going to be influential wonders in Malta, and you can build this next wonder as anyone, there's no religion requirement, no culture requirement either, it's just really freaking good, it's called the Malta Forts, and at max upgrade it gives a war score cost versus other religions negative 15%, and hostile disembark time, which is interesting. Uh, it means people are gonna have a lot of trouble landing on you. But war score cost versus other religions. Uh, very nice. Uh, then over here we've got. Uh, I'm not gonna show you all of them because there's too many. Also, a lot of them are like this, uh, which is like institution dependent two faith provinces and almost not two faith. And not particularly interested in that. Uh, I'll show you the Dutch one there because we are Dutch, so you can build the Dutch folders now, and they give you 10% goods produced on uh, on everything, and also monthly devastation in the area, which I guess is useful if you ever get blockaded. Uh, it's not nothing too fancy, but you have so much money that you can pretty much always upgrade it. Uh, good for you, it's pretty good. This one is really nice if you're playing in Poland, because you're always short of merchants. And if you upgrade this fully, you get uh, two merchants. You get the merchant uh, right off the bat, and then when you upgrade it completely, you get two extra merchants. It's very useful. Uh, this one, I believe, wasn't too awesome. It gives merc cost reduction. 10%. And uh, autonomy change in the area, so... In the new world, there's some monuments that give like 300% additional level attrition with that additional landing time, which you'll be able to attrition out transfer ships before they land troops. Uh, I know what you're talking about. It, I believe it's the Havana one, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is local. Uh, also, I'm also pretty sure, although don't quote me on it, that they made a little bit of a mistake here. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if this is a mistake or if this is working as intended, but uh, you've got Havana Fort, uh, Fuerto del Moro, and if you fully upgrade it, you get Naval Force Limit Modifier plus 30%, Blockade Power, uh, Blockade Force Require plus 100%, and then it says Overlord Force Limit plus 0.30. Now, I'm pretty sure they meant 30%, because you're not going to get the Naval Force Limit or the Blockade Force Required, because this will be your CN, and I think that point 30 is meant to be plus 30%, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, then we have the Cartagena Fort, which give hostile fleet attrition. Oh no, it's global, yeah, yeah. But you will, you would have to, uh, I think if you want this effect, you would have to own it yourself, so. Um, yes, Catholicism is very nice. Uh, would I consider it a top tier? That depends. I have a run planned with uh, 
a certain country, which I'm not sure if I should spoil right now, but uh, I have a run plan with a certain country, and it relies on the new papacy th things. So, uh, Catholicism is actually really nice now. So you get uh, construction cost reduction, which is uh, whatever. Uh, over here you get uh, yearly inflation reduction. Yeah, it's the same as before, except it adds yearly corruption now. Uh, this gives 10% morale of armies, which is nice. Uh, over here you get more manpower recovery speed and lamp maintenance reduction. And then this one is very interesting. Negative 10% diplomatic annexation cost reduction and plus one diplo rep. Very cool. The only downside of this one is you can't use it if you're the paper controller. Because you can't send a paper legate to yourself, which is a bit sad, but you can't use it if you're a paper controller. Uh, this one gives uh, yearly public constitution and approved relations now, which is also nice. And then these are the same as before. So, uh, what do I think about the Kawa? I can show you the Kawa in a bit. Uh, show the Monument Kiyo Fort, please. Uh, yeah, nothing really special about this one. Um, there is one more monument that I really want to show you. That is really bonkers. Um, I'm not sure if you saw these, but uh, this one's quite interesting. Ship trade power, merchant. I mean, it's. Uh, also, there's like a million new Sunni monuments now, or Islamic monuments, and a lot of them give missionaries and missionary strength. So, Muslim religion gets a lot of missionary strength in this patch. Like, a lot. Like, a, a ton. So, uh, that's kind of cool. Can I show you the monument in Neva, please? Uh, sure. Uh, it gives a negative 20% national unrest and 30% staff cost reduction, so <laughs> that's interesting. I'm not entirely sure what you need for this. I'm pretty sure you just need to be... Uh, hold on. Pretty sure you just need to be Russian. No, it has no requirements. All right, interesting. Now, what is another really cool wonder, which you can use as anyone with some asterisks. So there's a wonder over here in Varanasi, the Kazi Vithwana Temple. Now this is a very special wonder uh, because of how it works. So, uh, if you start, it gives you 5% CCR, 10% uh, CCR when you get to level 2, and 15% CCR and 10% aggressive expansion impact reduction when it's fully upgraded. So this is a very strong wonder, but there is some asterisk to it. If we take a look at Jampur, JMP, was it right? Yeah. So Jampur actually gets this. Yeah, they get 5% CCR. Now, Jampur is Sunni. But if you want to upgrade this one there, you need to be Dharmic. And it needs to be Dharmic. Now, if Jampur were to go Hindu... Now, let me just turn AI off for a quick sec. Half of these didn't exist in 40 people before. Well, that's a thing, but, uh, you know... Also, I don't remember, I don't remember Ryukyu conquering the world, but we're doing alternate history here, so... Doesn't really matter. Also, half of them don't have an upgrade in 44, I suppose. Uh, hold on, okay, so let me get some cash over here. Uh, alright, we need to be Hindu real quick. So now you can upgrade it. And now it just works. So we have 15% CCR and 10% aggressive expansion impact reduction. So it just works, right? Uh, and now if we go back to Sunni. It'll still work. Right? We could even go Mayan. And it'll still work. And then you can, uh, okay, I can't, I don't know the command for Mayanism. I think you need to do like Mesoamerican 3 or some shit. Um, <clears throat> but it will, it will still work. However, and if you're a country like, uh, let's say you are playing as uh, Timurids, uh, you need to flip Hindu before you conquer this province. You need to be Hindu. 
before you conquer this province, you need to be Hindu. You can't integrate Jampur now and keep the monument. It doesn't work. You need to be Hindu when you conquer it. Because if you're not Hindu, let's go tag Timmy and just conquer this. I'm just going to use the colonize the command, but trust me, we've tested this in a lot of different ways. Um, you can't. You can't get the- like, if I colonize this, watch what happens to the wonder. Watch what happens to the wonder, if I colonize this. Boom! Gone. Just gone. It's never gonna be rebuilt. It's just gone forever. It, it, it gets exploded off the map. It's just gone. <laughs> you just joink it, right? So if you want to use this, you need to flip Hindu. And then you can conquer it, and after you've conquered it, and upgraded it, then you can flip out. That's fine. You can do whatever, but you need to be Hindu before you conquer it. Um, can you delete all wonders? No. Only this one, for some reason. I don't know what's uh, what's up with this wonder. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not bad, because it's the only wonder that does that. Um, and it's also kind of weird, because Jampur starts with it, illegally, but because uh, they are Sunni. And, uh, but it just works for them, so I don't know what's, what's up with that. I think the Prague one can also be deleted. Oh, hold on. Oh, so the Prague one's actually really poggers as well. Um, Prague gives Yili Imperial Authority plus point 0.15 and tolerance of 15 Yili Authority. That's a lot. And then over here in Ulm, you have another one, which is also really nice. Uh, Imperial Authority from Free Cities plus 20%. So that's all pretty, pretty good stuff. Um... Let's see, if there, is there any new one? Well, there's, I'm, I'm sure there's a ton of new ones over here. You got Miwar Fort, which gives uh, advice, cost reduction, and special enforcement modifier. Now, that will only apply if you are um, actually, if you're able to get Rajputes. Otherwise, it, it won't do anything. So, uh, then we got some a lot of tolerance of heathens over here and religious unity. Flip back to Hindu, apparently, it jumps back at level zero. Mm, okay, hold on. Change religion Hindu. Hinduism? Maybe at a month tick? I don't think it's gonna jump back. Oh no, it is! It costs zero ducats, and it... Ah. Huh! Alright then, so you don't need to... Well, I mean, I suppose you technically do want to go back, but... That's interesting. It's the only one that does that, by the way. Like, all the others, you just uh, work normally. Uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of, um, tolerance of heathen. This one's really cool. And also, if you are, um, playing as Sunda, Maishapahit, or Khmer, you can stack a lot of missionary strength, because you'll be able to use all of the Buddha, or Buddhism, uh, wonders. I'm not sure if this was like this before, but if you are Hindu and you follow Buddha in your deity, which you can only unlock by playing as Khmer, Majapahit, or Sunda. You can unlock the Buddha um, deity. And then you can use all the Buddhist wonders as well, which is very cool. Um, not sure if that was in the game before. Try conquering Prague, it gets deleted too. Um, why? As who? Uh, hold on. Ta so you can't get this Austria? not tried that before. Oh, it does! And now does it respawn? I'm sure there's a way you can conquer this Austria, by the way. It's just gonna require some... Um... No, it's not there. It actually gets deleted. Uh, 
exchange religion 266 Catholic. Oh, so there's actually two ones to do that. Yeah, okay. Tag hub. Tag hub. Uh, call night. Uh, I'm just going to integrate Bohemia because apparently. Oh no, now it's here. Oh, okay, so it only gets deleted. Wait, I can actually upgrade this? It says I can. Alright, so it only gets deleted because the province was the wrong religion. It's interesting. Hmm, okay. Um, not entirely sure how that works. Did they add more soundtracks of Origins? Yes, they did. Uh, we're not listening to those, but we listened to those in the opening thing. Can I show you the monuments in Hungary, please? Uh, yeah, they're not. Uh, you've got the Brang Castle over here, which gives uh, national garrison growth, and Fort Maintenance on border with Rival, which is supposed to be interesting. And this one, uh, the Bibliotheca Corviniana, gives idea cost and institution embracement thing. Show the USA, please, for all your USA uh, viewers. All right, we have a... We've got the White House over here. I've not actually seen this one. Must have missed it. The White House. And now I finally know where Washington is without needing to look like an idiot. On Wow, okay, a lot of people got permit claims on us. Uh, reform progress goes, uh, cost, re-election cost, and state governing cost, but you can only use this if you're in the United States. Or a former colonial nation. Look at that. I hope you get to burn it if you're in Great Britain. Uh, yeah, over here you've got Cahokia, which gives you national manpower modifier. Uh, this one is basically a gold mine. Uh, San Antonio missions is kind of cool, but, uh, it'll be hard to use unless you move your capital here. 4, 6, 27. I need to be Catholic for this. Yeah, you need to be Catholic for this. And then you get uh, missionary strength versus heathens. And institution spread in two faith provinces plus 30%. But this will only apply to you, not your overlord. So. And then that one we know. Uh, there's Tikal here, which uh, you need to be Mayan culture group. And then you get 30% uh, staff cost reduction. So, in between owning Tikal, uh, London, or sorry, Tikal, Hampshire, and Neva, which have, all have no religion, religion requirements, only that you need to accept English and Mayan, um, you can get, how much is that, 60? 85% stab cost reduction? Pretty good. That's a lot of money to be spending on that, though, but... Sure, I mean, it works. 30% um, tech cost, dev cost, but no, uh, staff cost. The one is, uh, and the uh, one Buddha great project in Timber is apparently movable. Should it really be able to move it? Um, I mean, why not? I think a lot of Buddhist great projects should be movable, I suppose. Um, these are really nice if you are playing Inti. You got the... I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Kwapak Nam. Uh, which gives yearly authority and reinforce speed. Which is kind of useful because it's a rare bonus. And you can use that to compensate for your crap. So, um, yeah, over here we got Machu Picchu with the idea cost reduction. More yearly authority, religious unity, and missionary strength, which... Very useful. And then this is the gold mine. Um, so the multiple one... Uh, so the difference between level 2 on this one and level 3 is not that big. The only thing it does is it gives you 10% extra cost to fabricate claims. Which I guess if you combine it with espionage could be useful. But uh, it's mostly the tech cost that you want there. But uh, you, you get this one for free if you play multiple. If you uh, use their missions. Uh, okay, I think we've pretty much looked at most of the new wonders. Ah, uh, yes, they did add a Brandenburg Gate. It gives, uh, Prestige from Land Blasters plus 150%, and Armor Tradition from Battles plus 50%, which I think is a nice bonus, because they, if they gave them, like, Discipline or something, then Prussia would get even more insane. But, uh, Armor Tradition from Battles plus 50% is very powerful. It basically guarantees you the AP and... Uh, 
But it, it doesn't really guarantee 100 AT, but sort of. It gives you a lot of AT. And the prestige from land battles plus 150% probably will guarantee you 100 prestige, because that is not to be underestimated. Those, those are pretty powerful bonuses. Third temple. Uh, I'm assuming you mean the city of Jerusalem, but that's not really a wonder. You need to construct it, and then it upgrades the holy city of Jerusalem. What about the Danzig one? The Danzig one is a Merc Castle reduction. Korea has one. Oh, yeah, Korea has one. Oh, and there's a wonder in Karakurum, but that just gives um, religious unity. Which I suppose is useful if you're really going ham and conquering stuff. Uh, these were all here before, right? Actually, was this one? Pretty sure. Uh, uh, not sure. Korea has a wonder. You just need to be Korean for it. And it gives you 10% tech cost reduction. Yearly legitimacy and monthly time. I wonder. Okay. It does not give you... Uh, <laughs> It does not give you the yearly Republican edition. In Isfahan, uh, yes, there's a wonder in Isfahan. Uh, it gives me prestige per development for missionary and monthly splendor. Um, prestige from per development for missionary is uh, if you've played with in the Age of Reformation and use that button. Hey, that's definitely age. The wrong age. We're going backwards in time. Uh, this thing. Then you know how powerful this is. It's a lot of prestige. Every province you call on a uh, convert. So quite a useful wonder. Over here we have that uh, share van thing, which uh, need to be Zoroastrian. Um, again, this gives you the same thing, but you need to be Coptic, and also it gives more missionary strength, I believe. Yeah, missionary strength. And then over here we got even more missionary strength. And even more missionary strength. But this is versus, this is global. Spiral Minaret. And this is only versus heretics, which I guess is very useful. And also, you need to be Shia? Yeah. Apparently, they moved the Monument of Holy Karnassus. Could you show that? Uh, I mean, it's still a Mantasha. Wasn't it a Mantasha before? Oh, they changed this. Oh, I'm. Oh, 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 oh. All right, monthly splendor, average monarch lifespan. Okay. I'm not, I'm never really so sure about monarch lifespan, because on the one hand, yeah, sure, your good leaders will live longer, but your bad leaders are gonna live shorter. I mean, monthly splendor could be nice, because there's not a lot of sources for that. I suppose if you have the money, you could just use it. <laughs> right. And more stab cost reduction. There you go. Also, there's two monsters over here now. I'm not sure if that was before, but... Uh, this one you can always build. Um, and then over here you need to be Muslim, and then you get... Prestige per development for missionary. You can always abdicate. Yeah, that's true. You can always abdicate the bad rulers. So I guess you do have some control over that. Anyway, guys. Uh, so I was thinking we could play as Simeon. And try and re-establish, uh, or we'll just try to survive and, and make ourselves Israel, which is now a formal country. Uh, we could also play as Mutapa and just do the Mutapa mission tree and then flip Zulu. Uh, we can try playing in the Congo. We could try playing somewhere over in West Africa. Uh, Songhai, Zizao, or Mali. Or uh, we could do... Uh, <laughs> which I suppose has nothing to do with the DLC. <laughs> but I have a run planned with my ship of heat. But I, that one's going to be very long. Um, so, that's going to be like a long semi try hard campaign. So, um, basically, I guess the choices are Simeon, Zulu, uh, Congo, or West Africa. I suppose those are your choices. Let me go make a poll for you guys. No, no, strop all of me, thank you. Okay, you, you seem to be kind of divided. Pope Priest 1600. <laughs> no, Landa, I tried that already. It is very painful. I'm not playing Pope Priest 1600 with all these new fancy buttons. And then I can't, you know. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, poll time. Uh, Zulu. Uh, Simeon Jewish. Uh, Congo, 
West Africa something. Alright. Like, uh, Songhai, Mali, Zazao. There you go. Create pull. Try to puppet? I'm not gonna try to puppet. Hold on, let me share it. I just want the link. Yeah, can I just copy the URL, please? Thank you. There is a poll on Twitch, you poop. Yeah, I, tr I don't trust that poll. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, let me just go copy this a couple times. Here's where the poll is. I don't know if you guys can vote. Always forget then, release of 1.32. Uh, always forget when the release is of 1.32. Wait, can you vote on it? Can you, can you click on this? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so there's, uh... <laughs> zero votes for Congo? <laughs> Actually, zero. <laughs> well, okay. So, Simeon Jewish it is. Uh... With a 60% super majority, so there we go. <laughs> there's actually zero votes for Congo. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, jump right into that. I think I'll just release and play as uh, Sivian right off the get-go, and then we'll just see what we can do. So, you'll all be right. Eventually, we'll play all of it, ladies and gentlemen. Eventually, we'll play all of it. I'm very excited to play with the Jewish uh, religion, because I've not played with those before. Uh, well, not with uh, the new mechanics and everything, so. No, Zulu won? What? No, it didn't. What are you talking about? Stop the count. It's 60% uh, Simeon Jewish. Um, we might be able to do both, but I don't know. Not another Ethiopia game. It's not an Ethiopia game, it's Simeon. I wish Twitch had blind pulls so you wouldn't get influenced by the result. Yeah, that's, that's a thing. We always need a Pope run every match. Jewish Pope World Conquest win. Oh man, I've tried playing as the Pope, but the thing is, there's only one way to make the Pope not the Pope, and it's very painful, and you need to be pixel perfect, and... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, also, New Catholic is kind of cool, so... One tap, man, thank you for some for 12 months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, sir. Alright, we need to see the achievement. Yeah, maybe, hold on. Uh, let me just jump right into this. Iron Man, wait, are we on very hard difficulty? We are now. Iron Man mode is engaged. Simeon Jewish. Let's go. When will you show Flory how to do proper Pope? <laughs> Also, the Pope is uh, a lot of a lot of memes. It's um at the start you can like excommunicate Provence, and sometimes they'll pay it off before the 11th of December. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll buy an indulgence before you can excommunicate them, and it's all fucking random. So, um yeah, Pope Pope's kind of kind of kind of random, I suppose. So. We got Zara Yakop here, and I'm not gonna like ruin his country, but I will give myself a little bit of extra jab just because screw him. Uh, and we are going to play and release as Wait, what? Oh, I can't. I have to fight the rebels first. Really? Also, Sheba is here. Interesting. It's a new tag. Uh, I guess I'll go kill these guys real quick. Are there any new achievements? Uh, yes, there are. Let me see if it Ah, yeah, there you go. This is fine. Have at least 10 global unrest and be in a winning coalition war which was targeted against you. <laughs> Dude. So basically, do a world conquest, I suppose. <laughs> this is fine, not JPEG. <laughs> 10 global unrest, so 200% overextension whilst in a defensive coalition war. <laughs> Shemot is not. Shemot is not. As a Jewish nation, convert all of Egypt to Jewish whilst having the Jewish community aspect active. Alright. I don't like sand. It's coarse and it's rough and it gets everywhere. Have the most development while owning no provinces with terrain other than desert or coastal. <laughs> 13. And then we have, and this one's very, 
Very nice. At Rex's Legacy, have 10 personal unions at the same time. 10 personal unions at the same time. Yeah, that, 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 is, that is pretty cool. That is a pretty... Pretty nice legacy achievement. Uh, let's see. Who is Atwix? Atwix is, uh, um, Atwix was the person that explained personal unions to all of us. He was a beloved player of the community and he died earlier this year. And he, he basically wrote the book on personal unions and, uh, yeah, so this is, this is just very nice. All right, so, um, let's see here. Um, 10 personal units sound like make a good use of OP mission trees. No, you gotta do it legitimately. You gotta do it in the way that he would have done it. He just paid attention to the disputed succession thing and spread his dynasty all over the map. So, all right. Uh, yeah, I have to go kill these rebels real quick before we can move on. And, uh, oh, so Ethiopia has a bunch of new mission trees as well. I guess we could take a look at these. If you haven't already, uh, basically, uh, oh, Ethiopia's actually really fucking cool. They have, uh, this, uh, Naguna Nagast Monarchy, and you can move your capital for, like, 50 admin or something. Hold on. Now, I've not seen the Dev Diary on that one, so when I first saw this, I was like, wait, what? Alright, let's see. I have to go on siege just real quick. Before I can release and play as... Kill the Ethiopian troops before- No, this was already debatable. And I did it again. <laughs> we usually don't do that kind of stuff when we're releasing and playing as. <laughs> but it's pre-release time. I just want to have some fun here. Alright. Let's see. Okay, uh, civilians on siege. Hey, man, I could ruin this country way more. You could like release and play as or... Um, Make it bankrupt. There's also some wonders over here. Uh, there's a wonder in Lasta. Rock hewn churches at Lalibela, which give uh, missionary strength, prestige, and maintenance. Um, but yeah, there's government type. So we have decentralized state, which gives monthly autonomy change plus 20. Also, I've got a uh, capital reorganization because I've recently moved the capital. You can move your capital uh, every five years. Um, basically, because now it's ten thousand, a thousand percent extra cost. So moving the capital would be what two thousand seventy points. Yeah, it's supposed to cost like fifty though. Um, and I'm not sure if you move the capital if you keep the autonomy. Take down. Um, the inter inter. Why can I pronounce this? E, T, N, round, in itinerant capital area. It itinerant, itinerant. That's probably how you're supposed to say this, right? Itinerant. So anyway, you get um less devastation, monthly autonomy change, local autonomy goes down minimum, which is kind of weird because it, it should already be zero. But um yeah, you can move this stuff around and. Um, lower your autonomy and all the other problems it will start to go up um but so yeah that's pretty cool uh so ethiopia's got some special units uh which we can already get there is a state privilege that you can use to upgrade them but i think it unlocks using a mission so yeah you get these kawa they cost five mil a piece and they have less land attrition, uh, slower reinforce speed, and more reinforce speed cost, and they receive less shock damage. So they're pretty cool units, but the reinforce speed, you're gonna want to compensate for that somehow. Like, either get defensive ideas, but then if you do get defensive ideas, these guys don't know what attrition is, because... That's 25. Then the reinforce speed will completely compensate for the reinforce speed loss, and because they don't suffer attrition anyway, it doesn't really matter. Because it's not like you park them on a fort and they'll start to die because of the reinforced speed malice. So really, these are very cool with defensive ideas. Very nice. Um, so yeah. Pretty cool stuff. 
Uh, other than that, they don't really... Uh, they get an upgrade later. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, uh, they get an upgrade, uh, you can get to choose between Kawa Peacekeepers or Kawa Conquerors. You can switch whenever you want. Uh, it's a very small privilege, it's only 5 loyalty, 5 influence, and 5 absolutism, so you can totally use it. Um, the Peacekeepers will make it so that they're really good at stomping rebels, and there's not really a downside. And the Conquerors... I believe give you discipline, and they will give you discipline on all of your units, not just the Kawa Conquerors, so... Could you activate both at once? No, that's not possible. No, you need to choose one or the other, and if you choose the second one, the other one gets automatically revoked. But shock resistance is only worth in the early game. No, I'd say this scales pretty well. Uh, shock resistance is... Um, a, a, any percentage damage received negative is really good. If it were a shock damage increase, then yeah, I'd say no, that's only good at the early game. But this shock damage received, just total, is uh, very nice. Very useful. Anyway, uh, let me just go play and release a simian. And that'll be- I do want to see more Ethiopian mission trees. I mean, I guess we could. Event Kingdom of Simeon happens. Wait, what? I'm kind of curious. But this might fuck me. Wow! It'll be very difficult to flip Jewish if they get a mission day one to convert this. As not Ethiopia, so I guess it's good to be played as Ethiopia, huh? Huh, okay. Not entirely sure, there might be like a way to get them back, but uh... Haven't really tried that, but anyway. Let's uh, play and release us. And we'll be in a merry way. Fantastic. So, yeah, we're at Simeon now, let's take a look at our leader. Okay, we got uh, Duke Joram the first Asasabi. He's a 224. Uh, and he's 20 years old. Got 100% crown land, very sexy. Uh, let me go try and use that straight away. Uh, there's also some new policies or estate privileges, which are very cool. Everyone can have them. Over here with the nobility. Oh, actually, uh, I believe this is a, an African one. Neighbor raid, which this one sounds very interesting. I will want to use this. Simeon gains 0.1 years of manpower for occupying a hostile fort. The amount of manpower skills with the fort level... Plus 0.1 years of fort... Of manpower worth for fort level. The effect can only happen every 5 years. Pillaging capitals will also give 1 year worth of manpower for Simeon. So if you... And you can pillage capital at all times, even if um, it doesn't give you more development in your capital. Because they changed how concentrated development works now. Uh, and sometimes you can't use it because it won't give you a dev. But it will all, this will always, uh, you can always pillage, even if it's just, you can just pillage for the sake of pillaging. Development will go down and you'll get a year's worth of manpower, so that's actually kind of interesting. Um, it's not the one I was looking. Oh, I can't you. I uh, can't show you that one. There is a policy, but I, I think I can't show you this because we're a vassal. But there's a policy that you can pick that gives you five percent diplomatic annexation cost reduction, and it will remove the negative dip rep if you annex a vassal. So you won't get any negative effects from annexing a vassal, other than the opinion on your other vassals, which is important. But uh, you don't get the dip rep penalty, which is very, very strong. It is quite an expensive one. Um, I believe it's... Is it 30 or 15? I don't, I, I don't remember. Yeah, integrated nobility, but I can't pick that because we're a vassal, so... Uh, anyway... Oh, so there's some new ones over here. Uh, religious culture, which is really expensive. It gives... Uh, 
Yeah, 30% influence. Uh, let's see. So this gives you tolerance of heathens negative, extra missionary strength, and then it gives you this. Um, every owned province of the Jewish faith, which is either in the Cushitic culture group or has an accepted culture, gains religious society, which is uh, unrest reduction, extra taxes, extra production, extra manpower, and every province that is not gets culture conversion cost reduction. So, now I think this one's really nice, it's really interesting, but it's also like, it's very expensive, so I'm not sure if this is worth it. Also the tolerance of heathens negative too, this is like, you're going for a one faith and you're really going for a one faith and everything else doesn't matter. Um, this might be really good as the Moogles. Oh yeah, totally. I'm not sure if they get to use it. Also, tolerance of heathens negative two is hard to compensate for. Religious diplomats! If you're playing in uh, Europe, this is really nice. Really good, get it. It's uh, worth the 15 influence, totally. Every country which has the opinion same religion will have their modifier of Simeon increased by an additional 25. Uh, which basically makes it so that you can get an extra 25 um, aggressive expansion on everyone. And also improving relations is really sweet. It just gives you a better floor of uh, relations that you don't need to use a diplomat for. So, And even if you use diplomats properly, then it just gives you an extra 25 relations. So this is really useful. I wouldn't say it's OP as hell. I'd say this is well balanced because 15% is a lot, guys. 15% is a lot. Um, if you get... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, if you get that too high, then you'll start to conquer land and you'll start to lose crown land below 20, so... That's kind of bad. Um, but it, I, I'd say it's worth it. This one I'm not so sure about. Um, maybe like after absolutism, because then the calculation changes. So... If you have absolutism, uh, it's easier to maintain your crown lands. So, very nice. Uh, Roger Thalion, thank you so much for 21 months in a row. Tip man to you, sir. Uh, one tag, one culture is a lot easier in this patch. Mm -hmm. Don't know about that. I mean, it's 10%. It's not like uh, it's gonna make or break the. It's gonna make the one culture that much easier. It's not like we're gonna do one just because that is in there. Uh, let's see here. Do we want to do anything else? I think I want to do the uh, this thing. Nah, man, screw that. We're not doing that. It's just Ethiopia. I don't need. I don't need that crap. Although it really is kind of nice. Let's just go use it. It's fine. I have the Carland, so we'll get away with it. Um, and then over here, well, the religious diplomats for us is kind of pointless. I don't think I want to give them anything else. And over here, I would like to get some extra prestige. And maybe... Possibly even this one? I'm not sure. Uh, I think I'll leave it the way it is. I could give them free enterprise, I suppose. Let's just do that. Alright, cool. Um, Alu Burrs, thank you for some four months of romance. Tip out of you, sir. Morale from the clergy? Well, if I get that now, it won't really help. I guess we'll, we can get it now. Sure. And then... Do I want this missionary string? I mean, it's just... Yeah, okay, I'll use it. It'll get revoked uh, manually. And then over here, I guess we will... Oh, yes! Oh, yeah, t t totally, totally, totally. Level 1 armor reformer, that's stupid to maintain, don't mind if I do. I could sell my crown land right now, but that's kind of pointless. And we can convert our lands. I'm gonna just go use this. And start converting that. So, Jewish has mechanics now. Uh, we can get... Festival of Ro. Um, negative 2%... Uh, 2 national unrest. Tech cost or interest per annum. And when we celebrate, we get money and it reduces our inflation. Over here, when we celebrate, we get reform progress and legitimacy. And also claim strength of air. Now, once you've picked the thing, then you can celebrate. And it costs 200 faith power. Um, but you need to have an, a thing active. Yeah? 
So, um, over here, what do we do if we celebrate? Oh, you get plus one stab. Okay. And then over here, we can pick tolerance of the two faith. Uh, no Jewish province will suffer the penalties of non accepted culture and same culture group as long as this aspect is active. Right, so then I suppose you basically make it as if it were part of a TC, except for the Jewish bit. Alright, cool. What does this do? Every owned Christian or Muslim province will no longer suffer the penalties of wrong religion and will decrease local religious unity contribution by 100% in local missionaries. Like, Ayo! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not doing this one. Convert to heathen. Alright, homo to Jews. Tech cost reduction. Every non-theocratic Christian or Muslim religion will get an opinion of plus 35. This one's the best one, hands down. Or maybe that one. But this one's really freaking good. Um, that's actually really useful. We are a beacon for our people and as such we attract many Jews from foreign countries into our nation. As a side effect, the Christians and Muslims are glad that their unwanted ones are in our home. Alright. And then the middle ones are land attrition. And whilst at war, our country gets 10% manpower and recovery speed, manpower recovery speed and 5% faith power. This effect is doubled if you're in a defensive war instead. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, over here you get fort defense. Remember Passover. Sieges of our own Fallon forts start with plus 2 progress in our favor. Winning sieges against hostile forts gives us plus 5 faith power. And then you can constantly do like an uh, aspect. If you can really min-max your faith power over here. Uh, which aspect would be the nicest one? I suppose this one, right? Well, either this one or that one, because... It's not going to be that... I think I think the money one would be very nice. Alright, and then over here, we got 5% um, premium teachings. Each one battle reduces war exhaustion by 0 0.05. Every one war grants us 10 faith power. This one's really cool, I'd say. Uh, but hold on. Well, you're gonna siege down more forts with this. Uh, you're gonna get more faith power with this thing, I think. Uh, can you combine Jewish community with that Jewish culture thing? Uh, you totally can. Wait, hold on, that was over here. But it's not l as if that won't apply. So if it's the wrong culture, it will still give you the, um... I don't know. I don't know what happens if you do that. Anyway, guys, I'll be back in a bit, and then we can uh, unpause, because we're still... <laughs> still, uh, still pause. What is the button in the top left of the religion screen? Uh, this? Uh, they, they changed a bunch of, um, it's just converting away, but Jewish is not allowed to do that. Uh, like, Catholic can do that, for example, and then flip to Protestant.
All right, guys, let's get to spreading the oldest Abrahamic religion in the game. Ah. Paxi Turnham, thank you so much for 19 months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, sir. And also, we need to pick our government reform. Uh, ooh, uh. Do I want this? It will allow me to draft transport ships. I uh, I don't want that. I just want the autocracy. There you go. All right, cool. Um, anything else we need to do? Well, we want to sell our crown land, but we can't really do that. We have no military at all, so we can't really do. <laughs> Come on, role play a bit. I mean, with with plutocracy role play. Why? Cause money. All right. So if you're Jewish, you get a ton of extra advisors. Uh. Which is nice, I guess. Uh, we're gonna get a morale of armies guy for free. And I think we should focus military, because otherwise we're not gonna be beating up uh, Ethiopia anytime soon. And I will want to declare my independence relatively quickly. But I don't even have a second spot for that merchant, dude. Like, <laughs> Wait, does this even give me an extra merchant? It does. I, I can't even place two of my merchants. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a very... Uh, very d uh, decent thing to do. Uh, Shot of Hope, thank you for some 50, 43 months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, sir. Gonna show the new tech thing. Yes, of course. So, um, once you get to tech 5, or once you get tech 4, the next tech is going to cost 15% uh, more. And then it slowly scales up to 50%. Instead of having a random or a, a percentage slowly ticking up to 50%, now Tech 5 will require you to have a Renaissance, otherwise, you pay 15%, and Tech uh, 6 will require like, uh, I don't know, like 30, and then the next one's gonna be 50, something like that. So, um, now falling behind is not as painful, like falling really far behind in Tech is not as painful, uh, because you can just wait. Uh, also, what's interesting is it will instantly increase your monarch point cap 15%, which could actually be quite useful. Any catastrophic bugs yet? Um, not, not that I've seen. But yeah, this is my. I like this a lot better. I think this is nice. Idle merch is just 4044 at this point. <laughs> All right, let's try uh, start building up a spy network on this guy. And do we have any missions? We do. Um, prepare for war. I think these are. For all of, um, these are generic for all of, uh, what do you call it, uh, East Africa. So, if we get a leader, manpower is at 60%, we get perm uh, normal claims all around us. And then when we start a war uh, on someone, we get attack the heathens, 15% morale army, so that's going to be very useful. Uh, well... <laughs> Okay, if we've grown by five states, we get more perm uh, claims on the rest of Ethiopia. And when we fully, when we got 50 provinces in here, we get United the Horn of Africa, uh, which is local unrest, uh, death costs, and some monthly devastation, which I suppose will allow, allow you to consolidate this a little bit. Do we need to westernize? No, Ethiopia can, we can't. But we could form Ethiopia. I'm pretty sure once we've done that, we can't form uh, Israel anymore. I'm pretty sure you need to be... Um, pretty sure you need to be Simeon for this. Sexy Schlepp, thank you for some... Uh, gifting a sub to SLA62, man! Tip out to you, sir! <laughs> Alright, uh, so let's, let me just get that out of the way. Any other cool missions? Favor the rabbis. And it gives us a stab. And then over here we get, uh, okay, if we've expanded our borders, we get an extra missionary and missionary strength. And religious alliances, diplo rep. Over here we get more missionary strength versus heathens and some missionary maintenance cost, okay. Now all of these forces are, or all of these uh, things are temporary or insta bonuses. Um... Stabilize the economy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Would be fun if Israel uh, joined the super duper endgame tag list along with HRE, Rome, and the Mon. <laughs> Why do you want the royal marriage? I don't want this. 
All right, so basically we just have to sit here for a little bit. I think if we want to prepare for war, which we can't declare independence until 1450 anyway. So let me just uh, speed fight for a bit. Um, now what are we going to do with allies? Chat, will we allow allies for this? Are 1.31 save games compatible with 1.32? I.e. can I start a new run today or must I wait Thursday? Uh, I don't know if they're compatible. I'm pretty sure they're not though. There are no map changes, so it might be, but you can assume it won't be. So what do I need to do? I get 50% manpower and then we can do this. Okay, well that's gonna take some time. Um, we don't really have the money to get more, so I'm just gonna leave everything the way it is. And we'll try and just save up some manpower. 90% won't be compatible. Yeah, probably. I might be a little late for this, but can you show the religious flavor? Uh, sure. Uh, basically, you get to choose three aspects. One admin, one diplo, and uh, yeah, I'll do that. One admin, diplo, and mill. Uh, you need, like, how much? A hundred? Yeah, you need a hundred faith bar for this. And I think the first one we're gonna go for... Is the tech cost one. And then the second thing we're gonna go for is the morale of armies thing. Um, yeah, probably. I mean, the fort defense... This is a lot of fort defense. And also, this is very interesting. Hmm. Whilst at war, gain 5%. This one might actually be more than this. In terms of how much uh, faith power, power it gives you. Because this would give you 10, but this just increases your faith power by 5%. And 10% if you're in a defensive war. So that's actually pretty cool. I reckon you could probably um, make it so that you can permanently be in a defensive war. Um, this one's actually really sexy too. Each one battle reduces war exhaustion by 0.5. So I'm assuming it doesn't say anything about it needs to be a big battle or anything like that. And then over here, we're probably going to want the home of the Jews. Although I kind of want to see what the Jewish community thinks about. Whoa! Uh, Dembija. That's not the one I'm converting. And we have Yoram. Hey, right, uh, who wants- and Rebecca as a consort. Who wants to be mayor? 514, I think I'll keep that. Every battle gives 10 faith. No, every one war gives 10 faith. Every battle gives you, um, key on one, two, two, two. Every battle gives you war exhaustion reduction. Which is nice, you know. Um, <clears throat> each war one actually works for every person you piece it. Okay, well then that one's probably the most powerful one. And also 10 faith power. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. So let's take a look at how what Ethiopia is doing. So they're converting their land. They have a lot of troops because they gave them those troops. Bit of a silly move. I'm uh, pretty sure these are those Kawa units that I got for him. Uh, it, I do hope that we're going to be able to beat him to the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The uh, Tech 4. I think so, because we did make him dev us a little bit. Can you stack wipe 10k... 10 small 10 k, 1k stacks and go down to zero war zones? Probably. Probably. Wait, you can keep redoing the Tech cost one and keep farming reform progress? Uh, yes, but... Uh, yes, you're right. But this is 200 faith power, so you need to piece out of 20 wars. Or, um, yeah. Gain more stuff. So I think we'll still want the tech cost one. Uh, this one gives stab. This one gives money. I think the money one might actually be better. I think the money one might actually be better. But the, this one, let's just pick this one to see how good how fast we can go through all the government reforms. Can you still claim their lands for event? Their lands for event? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could totally do that. Uh, let's go do this. Claim a province over there and a province down here. Because if we want to get down to Demot, there's a gold mine there. Interest reduction is perfect for a no-balls run. I mean, we're not doing no-balls here, but... Uh... Yeah, okay. I do want this Morale of Armies guy. He's cheaper to maintain. And I guess we could sell our crown land now. There's no point not to because we're gonna end up losing this anyways. Let's just go sell it. And apparently this is stabilizing the economy, which we're not gonna do. Now, for this one, I'm gonna need army size 100% of the force limit. 
Uh, our AT is 17 now, so we could get ourselves a leader. Because I'm going to need one anyway. Who wants it? I don't think you're going to be particularly good. You have between 3 and 8 pips. Talk. Sank. Let's go. Oh, wow. 4 pips. That's upsetting. Uh, and our force limit is 6. So... But I remember it should be 60%. Wait, what? What? What's happening? What? Okay, we're at war. Uh, what? <laughs> the Ethiopian conquest of uh, El Qadarif. Um, yeah, so this is kind of interesting. I don't know if I can still prepare for war. I can. It says manpower level at least 60%, but it is. Right? No, 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 it's 50%. Never mind, I can't count. What time is it? It's 14.44 o'clock. Well, it would be, but we already have 60% liberty desire, so I can just declare war during this war, so... Um, Ethiopia is gonna be screwed here. Uh, I think we can pull that off. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, actually, but we're definitely gonna try. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't like that he's sieging on my capital, that's kinda ass, but... What is this music? This is not very, uh... There we go. Alright. Put some Jewish mu music. Uh, I don't think I'll find anything if I type in Jewish. One sec. Oh! What's this? Okay, apparently this is somehow Jewish. <laughs> no idea. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Why is the cost of buying a leader 60 mil? Uh, because we have the estate privilege command of the military, which uh, gives me 20% extra leader cost. Alright, so do I have my mission completed now? I can't count. How much manpower do I need? Okay, well there you go, now it's completed. He did end up uh, sieging that up. Um, and they are definitely winning really hard. Especially with Damat being right there. Uh, we could get the Nubian com company for 63, but then we also need to get the free company. Otherwise I won't be able to prepare for war. I really do like the double siege though. So I guess we'll go hire these. Yeah. Seems good. And maybe use the uh, defensive edict for a quick sec. Uh, sorry, Belfort, for missing your sub. I was uh, going in. Another sub for the best full time streamer. Thank you for subbing for 17 months in a row, man. Tip out of to you, sir. My capital's about to fall. It's 7%. That's not about to fall. His capital's about to fall. And my independence uh, declaration isn't going to happen until 1450. So I don't really want to... Yeah, we need to last for a little bit. Uh, this is unfortunate. Let's try running away. See, I don't want them to win. But I don't want them to lose either. I feel like I'm getting debated here. And to fighting a war, I don't want to fight. If I hire normal troops, then I won't have enough manpower. Hmm. Let's have a thick. Uh. Okay. Well, that's an area piece, though. Okay, and they moved off of my capital, so we're we're good to go here. Okay, we can afford to wait up because I need to. Oh crap! Oh no! No 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 no! But at least you don't have to pay the maintenance on those. Mama, you get to me.
Uh, well, let's hope they don't insta-wipe us. So we can still hire these. But they will insta-wipe me. Well, maybe not instantly. You can't... Uh, I couldn't squ- I was- ooh, was I- would I have been allowed to do that? Probably not. It's not my thing, so... Not- not sure if you're allowed to scorch your allies' occupied land. No! You're joking! He finished it right before this finished. Uh, so I could, still couldn't press the button. Alright, well, it's fine. That guy was too expensive anyway. A bit of a loss of 60 ducats. Let me go see if I could have scorched that. It certainly would have had an effect because Ethiopia was occupying it. Yeah, no, I could have scorched it. Rip. Ah, oh, well. Uh, yeah. Let me just get a little bit of cash from that. Uh, we still can't press the button now, which is a bit sad, because I had to, uh, yeah, I really wanted to press it here. How much manpower do we need now? Yeah, back to 7,000. God, that's gonna take forever. Uh, I guess maybe we could do some looting to make ourselves a bit of cash. Uh, I would like to loot in, like, a safe space, so maybe over here. 7.3k. Is this no balls? Nah, I don't think we should do no balls, because, uh, you know... We have this uh, interest per annum thing, we should probably make use of it, right? And Ethiopia is sitting with 27k on Sober. Which is interesting. But he's also looting me, so this is gonna cost a lot of resources. Um, so 60% of 1257, how much do I need? Because I... Here, let me just go do 1200. 7.30, give or take. Uh, that's gonna take too long. I won't be able to declare my independence. I mean, it's gonna take another 12 months. I don't have that kind of time. Exploit Mildev? Well, we could, but that's only gonna save me three months. It's also gonna make it less of a problem. Because my max manpower is gonna go down if I do that. So we will do that, but I'll wait for... Uh, okay. I'll wait for this province to get converted. Are we going to uh, continue Burgundy? I, I don't think so, because Burgundy was from a previous patch, so I don't think we should. Yeah, it's a really big shame that this got uh, slaughtered. I could have saved them too, which is extra bad. But I didn't think they would come after me like that. I thought they were just going to siege down Dembija and just kind of sit there. But yeah, I did this. Uh, it's kind of done. Like, we could keep fighting now, but I don't know if that's really the way to go. Yeah, he just beast out. There you go. I might want to wait for him to jump into another war. Because um, it's kind of painful, you know? Although we do get 15% morale, but I also didn't have my mill tech, so I don't want to fight him without my mill tech. Like, that would be really stupid. Ooh, Pesach! It has already been a long time since Moses liberated our people from the Pharaoh, but we must still remember how the Lord punished him. Following his command, we marked our lintels and doorposts with lamb's blood, so that the angel of death would pass over them and not kill our firstborns. Since then, we have lived free from the shackles of the Pharaoh, but we must still remember it and thank the Lord for it. This is what we celebrate on Pesach, one of the three Shalosh Regalim. But we must celebrate whilst keeping that in mind, although it was customary for the Sal Shalosh... I'm gonna mispronounce all of this. Shalosh Regalim to consist in a pilgrimage to Jerusalem to offer sacrifices in the temple that's not possible anymore since the destruction of the second temple. Thus, we must make an effort to remember while celebrating. 
The sacrificial lamb must be offered and all the leaven discarded and burned. But this our people will remember. The R in Hebrew is pronounced like German. Erm. Er. Ergelin? Jergelin? I don't know what you're trying to say. Alright, let's go. Axum almost done. Fantastic. That removes the rabbi's thing. And we could go grab the stack. We're not going to get the discount for that. So he doesn't have tech 4. If we want to go for him, we have to go for him right now. He only has 8,000 units, so he disbanded quite a bit. Uh, so I think now would be the time to go for it. Because we'll also get the 10% bonus, right? So let me just burn this. And I think that will do the trick. Surely. Next month? Yeah, there you go. Prepare for war. Fantastic. So... <laughs> it shows a little money sign. What? <laughs> Torah aspects can be selected. Alright. So I think, first of all, we're gonna want to pick up this uh, morale of armies. We could also pick the fourth defense and try to troll a little low him. I think we're gonna go for the morale of armies thing. Um, morale is too less. I don't know. Every bit helps. This is very big. This is a lot of fourth defense. But I am thinking I want to like actually win the war. Oh, you moved this capital back to shade. Uh, he only has one fourth, dude. I think we'll have to crush him anyway. So in that case, we're picking the we're picking the morale of armies thing. Also because I think that's just better. All right, cool. Uh, let's go pay for our army. And uh, let's see here. I can't get another merc company. No, no, I can. It instantly got back. All right. And who are your allies? Just Kaffa. Okay. Yeah. So I think we should allow loans. Yeah. Let's just say we allow loans, because I can't... I'm just gonna allow loans. Alright, we have, um... I could probably do it with no balls, but then, you know, we're gonna get the 50 corruption, and we have the, we have the Torah aspect for cheaper loans. I don't wanna, like, not use that, so... Up to you, chat. Up to you. Do we take the loans or not? Yeah, we'll do the loans. We'll do the loans. Let's not make this any more complicated than it needs to be. Cool, let's go. Uh, I could set Kafka's co -belligion. It doesn't really matter. I need to declare my independence first anyway, but whatever. Let's go, boys. Time for battle. In this uh, fitting song, I think. Alright, let's go. I think he knows. <laughs> I think he knows what's coming. It's kind of hoping he would delete half his army here. I might want to hire the units before. So, loans it is. We're going to hire the units and let them finish. What? Motherfuck! Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing we waited. <laughs> All right, now let's see. We need to attach everyone to uh, the Nubia company, I think, because they've got six maneuver. As far as I know, they've not changed anything about the whole. Um, uh, what do we call it? The whole um, attaching system. So. Right now we can go. Okay, what is our force limit? It's nine. Okay, and uh, we could attack the heathens now. Uh, it's gonna apply for twenty-five years. We'd also like to fix my stab. It's kind of nasty. This. Okay. Another thing the AI does now: keep an army in peacetime. Well, I mean, on very hard difficulty, they do that anyway, sort of. 
Still gonna be a spooky army. We're gonna beeline our way over to Kafa because we can separate piece them. And I'm gonna press the button now. So we actually have a morale that's like really high right now. We've got 420 morale, which is crazy because it's 450. Most of them are walking around with like 10. Oh fuck, we're dead. No, we're not. We'll be fine. If he actually fights, which he won't. My god, they're really good at chasing my armies though. Normally this would never happen. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, if you sit here, will you recover? Uh, it'll be fun. You can go occupy our second province now. And he's uh, gonna go siege down Simeon. As you should. Good AI, good AI. Go, go, go do that. Hmm? Alright, let's go. Gambela occupied. Uh, let's see here. Man, I'm gonna completely need to relearn how they move around. Because, uh... I don't know, it feels weird. Oh, the Shaywa Fort is making me walk around like a dumbass. Okay, I, I get it. Uh, please don't enter that. Hello? Qu'est-ce que tu fais? So... I'm not sure if this actually made me lose... War Exhaustion or nah. But it's whatever. So, if I was really uh, balls to the walls with this, I could try and stack up that Kafaninian army um, before sieging is down, but I don't think we should. Because I think we should just beast him out right now. Oh, he wouldn't accept that. Hmm. So, we are gonna need to say hi to those. Alright, we'll go say hi. Somehow. Uh, everyone needs to attach to the Nubian company. And we'll have to try and get into a battle here. So he's moving into that marsh, which we'd never scorched. It's a bit awkward, honestly. Do any of them have tech 4? Ethiopia does, so we don't really have a tech advantage. Man, it's a good thing I focused mill. Hmm. I wonder where he's gonna go after this. Also, I might wanna use my, uh... I am using the defense V to... Ah. How happy are you about the war? Yeah, he's really happy because of Alliance War Score. We're gonna want to change that. But these guys are in the way. We have to take care of this. Okay. Nah, you don't wanna do that, man. Okay, apparently he does. Interesting. Uh, I think that'll be a wipe, actually. Oh, let's make our king into a general. Let's see what he's all about. <gasps> Yoram! Ya yeah, boy! Oh, man. Ashira Ladonai. Kigoga. Uh, Dasima, thank you so much for... 29 months in a row, Tip out to you soon. There can be miracles when you believe, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Yeah, he's gonna reinforce into it, but he's not gonna have a lot of time. I'm also gonna scorch this so that these guys will have a tougher time reinforcing it. I'm not sure if they'll realize and change pathing. No, they won't realize and they won't change the pathing. Yeah, we got 4.2 to 2.5. Even the Ethiopians we can probably easily beat. There's no way these will reinforce in on time, so let's see. Boom. Two war score. Easy money. Now he's gonna move into Ilabor on the 6th of June. And I don't have a lot of time. They're already at 0%. So, but there are enemies around here that will have this guy targeted. So, uh, let's see here. He's gonna move around. I, I didn't mean to do that. That was bad. Uh, yeah. I will want to stack web this before moving on, but... 
I need him to get movement locked here. Because I, I want to catch him. It's not going to be like a defensive thing, but... We'll have to just make it work. Also, how is Kaffa doing? It is still at 40. I still can't piece them out. I uh, had thought that occupying all of this would be enough, but... I guess not. This is really dangerous. Like, if he gets that siege, we're dead. I think we need to, like, retreat away from this. Alright, so the first time he's gonna move in on the 14th, then the second one's gonna move in on the 21st. So we could beat all of them, but this is really problematic. So as soon as I can piece him out, I will, but we just can't right now. Then again, if they do occupy my land, uh, and they all decided to move. If they do occupy my land, it's not like they can um, enforce peace on me. Because I have these provinces occupied. But hopefully we can just make it to Sibian and kick him off of that siege. Hopefully. Okay, so apparently there won't be a battle in Agu. And we got lucky at the 14%. If I can make it to his army, then we can unsiege this. A war score from uh, Alliance War score will go down, and then this guy will peace out and give us some money. Provided we can win, because uh, Simeon is probably not scorched. No. And uh, there's a lot of troops near this fort, which is very interesting. Considering he's in a war with Adal, and he's like, it's like he's protecting the siege. Huh. No shit. Alright, let's see. Okay, we got lucky again. Yeah, it's like he's protecting the siege, isn't it? Or is that just me? It seems like he is. I also don't think he would move off. Like, if I were to attack this, he should move off of the siege and try to protect, uh, fight that. But I don't think he will. I think he's gonna stay. But then again, if he stays, that might be a bad decision as well. I wonder though, if I unseach this, how much war score do we have on you? 23. So, and how much war score are you getting from occupying Dembija? 32.50. So if I siege, if I unseach this, His enthusiasm is going to drop by 16 points, which means his war enthusiasm is going to be 20. And our war score is 24. So unless... It should work. Uh, we won't get max money, but we should be able to unseat us and then just piece him out. Unless something weird happens. Now I could go fight, but that's risky. And also this is a cool move, so now we can piece you out. I can't ask for any money. I would be able to ask for that if I waited, but... There you go. Because that was a cool move, we did it anyway. Alright, great. So now we just have to deal with Ethiopia, who is now... Now that the siege has ended, is gonna walk around. So they were actually protecting the siege! Because he's in a war with Adal. He could be doing other things. So he was actually protecting the fucking siege. Dude. Skynet, it's here. <laughs> Genuinely protecting the siege. He could have parked all of them on top of the siege. But he didn't want to do that because of the attrition. But he was genuinely trying to protect the siege. That's really good. I like it. I'm gonna go fight this guy because he's got no leader, and we have uh, Yoram the first as Abby. So uh, we're gonna do a lot of damage here. Hopefully, he might even stack wipe it. I don't know how good the Ethiopian morale is. I could check in the ledger, but where's the fun in that? Now he's gonna try and reinforce this through uh, Dembija, but we scorched it, so it's gonna take him some time to get here. Uh, let's see. You get don't get church power for a white piece. Always good to grab one token. Oh yeah, I just got ten church power. Look at that, nice. I don't know what my second thing is going to be, but I think we're going to pick the interest per Adam thing, because I don't want money. Alright, let's see. Ooh, we're rolling like ass, though. So, probably not a wipe. We do have one morale point on him, but yeah, this is not going to be a wipe. 
I don't have enough units. And I, in fact, we might be screwed here. Okay, no, he's changed his mind. Uh, we're gonna need more troops, but the thing is I can't hire more merc companies. So I'm gonna need uh, to get some money. And I wonder what he's gonna do to me. What are you gonna do to me, buddy? Okay, I think, okay. Interesting, interesting. I don't wanna hire more dudes. I don't get it. Um, I don't want to hire more dudes and I don't want to chase after these. So we're just going to go occupy this. For now. To eliminate some of our issues. Dude, is this like Protestant now? It is nothing like Protestant. I get why you would think that. But it's very different. Anyway, I think it's going to play a lot differently. Because this is very unique. I mean, the, every battle one reduces the war exhaustion by 0 0.05. And I'm not saying that to simp or anything. It's just that uh, all of these aspects have... It's weird. They have unique effects, I suppose. Like, all of them have, like, a double effect. Also, with Protestants, you're going to want to move them a lot, but it's very expensive to do it here. And you can use your faith power uh, on the cell, uh, on this. Which is like, um... A way to use your... It's like Anglican meets Protestant, I suppose. I, if you want to... It's like Anglican plus Protestant. Uh, it's Jewish! It's Jewish! <laughs> it's just... All right. Really affects how you want to play the game. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, this is interesting. Let me go scorch that. Open it up so he keeps walking. Okay, he stops moving. Huh. Well, that's certainly a lot less predictable now. Wait, really? You're moving? No, you're not moving. Listen. You're not gonna move. So, Ethiopia, how many troops do we still have? Uh, 15. 8k manpower. This reminds me of Stardew Valley. I'm just gonna fight this. I don't know where the Ethiopian troops are, but I'm just gonna fight this. Yeah, easy money. Alright. And there's more up there. Also! I was playing as Florence. As I always do in a new patch. I always play with Florence to just see how, what things are like. And I was marching into Terra Incognita, or into a fog of war. I was marching into like this, right? I couldn't see the enemy troops, but it gave me a pop-up that I was going to get into a battle with a negative modifier. Um, which, I don't know if that's intended or not. And I thought the game was joking, and then I got uh, bum rushed by Scandabag. I, I got stack wept. I lost all my troops, and I birded in on normal difficulty. Can you imagine? I actually birded. I just I just rage birded, but <laughs> right there, because <laughs> I got stack wiped by Scandabag. But yeah, it'll tell you now. I I hope I get to show you that. But it'll tell you now, and it does not lie. So keep that in mind. <laughs> I thought I was lying. I was like, no way it is. Why would Albania even be here? It was like right next to Albania. Like, why would they even be here? That doesn't make any sense. It did war me though, yeah. Which I believe is new. So we have to decide. Do we want to go for full total victory or do we want uh Because then we should probably siege down the- No, 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 wait, hold on. We're gonna want full total victory, but... I think it's gonna be kind of hard. Go for gold. Yeah, there's gold over here in Dumont. I'm gonna want that. I don't know. A lot of the countries get controlled gold mining. I'm pretty sure Ethiopia does as well, but I'm pretty sure we don't. No, we don't. You can only get that through a special mission. I guess you could form something that has that, but... 
Um, I also don't know how good the controlled gold mining is, because it gives you 10% less goods produced on the gold. So, it'll be interesting to see if that's actually worth it. Uh, here, let me just go do find similar. Form Ethiopia? Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we form Ethiopia, we can't restore Solomon's uh, legacy. Also, Ethiopia can get a really cool... Um, what am I call it? Government type when they finish all their missions. I would highly recommend playing a game of Ethiopia. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Oh, uh, let's see. This is not properly attached. Let me go change that. Huh, it works. Nice. <laughs> I always like it when attaching things work. It's cool. <laughs> I don't know. What do you get really excited about? Um, does Kilwa get it? Yes, Kilwa gets it. Uh, Kilwa gets it with... Anyone you can think of gets that bonus. Um, I'm pretty sure even Congo gets it. I'm not sure, but... Uh, anyone that basically starts with a gold mine over here gets that thing through a mission one, or the, one way or the other. So, what exactly are the requirements for forming Israel? Pretty sure just own Jerusalem. And oh my god, Israel has some fucking... Israel has some pretty meme events, man. Uh, I played as Israel, and uh, well, let's just let's just get there, and then you'll see. Also, rebuilding the third temple. Uh, if you want to like flex, you can destroy a Muslim uh, heritage site. Like you can build, you can build a third temple on top of uh, a Muslim site. Uh, don't do that, <laughs> okay? Just trust me. Don't. I did that, it was not a good idea. I guess first stream will do it just to show you that that is not the right option to take. Okay. Did I change my mic? Uh, I shouldn't have. Banana, banana, penis, vagina, like sponge bananas in the face, but not on Monday. Every other day of the week is fine, but not Monday. Banana, banana. I, I shouldn't have. I mean, I might have uh, a long time ago. But I am. Uh, I have a bit of a cold, so I suppose... Maybe uh, it's a little different. I also have uh, soundproofing now, so look, look at that beautiful, look at that beautiful two shade color soundproofing up up the ceiling. That had a bit of an effect. Six day war event? No, it's not a six day war event. It's a uh, well, I mean, I, gu I guess sort of, but it's mostly like also it depends because I was doing it. I was doing that in console, and I don't know. You'll see. Let's just say I instantly flipped Sunni after I pressed that event by accident. <laughs> Alright, um... Hexagons, best hexagons, yeah. Unfortunately, they sent me two different colors. Which, uh, looks kinda ugly. Unacceptable 3, thank you so much for four months in a row, man. Tip Matt of you, sick guy. My name is still here, you though. I don't know, I haven't asked them, because I didn't want them to say that they could. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think they probably can. I mean, they probably can, but maybe less. I think less. Probably. I mean, they're quite thick. I think they do do something. Um, I, I know I can hear them less. Uh, so... I think they do do something. I think they do do something. And also, it kind of looks cool. It, ha it already had an effect on the acoustics in the room, so... Either way, it was a good decision to get it. Rude thing to say? What, is, what, what was a rude thing to say? Uh, oh, my neighbor's a quiet thing. <laughs> no, I meant the f fucking... You know what I meant. I meant the the, the soundproofing thing. Oh, Jesus, yes. Okay, sure. <laughs> also, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, you got me. Alright, so Ethiopia is sieging down Haro here, and he's on 28%, so he doesn't want to move. Can we move over there? Over encumbered goblin! You need to drop some stuff, man. Thank you for some of your prime gaming though. Tip matter to you, sir. Alright, let me go ask Melexus and see if we can't liberate this fort. Must we still have all of our bonuses? Yeah, he's starting a lot of sieges. He's not really defending his terrain, which is interesting. I'm assuming that's be Okay, so this one... I don't... Oh... 
Huh. Also, look at this cool unit. That is a very shiny cross. That is pretty cool. No shoes, though. Don't like it when you, the models, have no shoes. Because I, I don't think anybody would walk around here with no shoes. So, uh, HC2, thank you so much for 36 months in a row, man. Tip out of to you, sir. Alright, let me go scorch the earth here. Um, hmm? Second of March. You're not gonna march in there yet. I don't know when he started walking here. It is mountains, so no matter what, I'm gonna let him get blocked first. Okay, that's kind of problematic. I don't want to lose this unit. So we're gonna move off. And probably move right back in, because he'll probably try to reinforce this. And after this, we can take out Damot as well. And hopefully we can uh, um, occupy Hadija, And then we can uh, cock, cock. Adal out of his resources. <laughs> yeah, I meant to say cuck, but I couldn't say that for some reason. Alright, cool. We did catch those. Can you occupy that, please? That's like the single most important thing for you to do right now. Wow, no stack whip. Sad. Where are you moving? Where are you even going anyway? Seriously? Huh. Interesting. Uh, so we got 54%. If we want another siege, we're gonna need to... Hmm. This is kinda awkward. Are all borders both yellow province? Oh, they do? Yeah, no, you're right. They do. They also occupy this thing. I could have Adal help me on the siege of Shewa. Probably. I mean, that used to work. If I move off of this, he'll come my way. Nah, uh, he's not next to me, so he doesn't want to. No, he's not next to me, so he doesn't want to. Okay. Uh, how about you go take care of the Dalmatian Indians? Or what is that? Uh, Hadija and Indians, yes. And let me just go make sure this attaching system works properly. Very nice. It didn't quite work the way I wanted it to, but sure. I mean, he's at 49%. He's going to move soon. If I want total victory, we're going to have to stack with that army somehow. Right, Rabbi's getting some influence. I guess we could... Oh, goodness. Hmm. I don't want to do either of these. I guess I'll do the legitimacy one. Where are you headed? Aksum. I could try fighting in the... Wait, what? why is one of them going to arrive 26th of September and the other one's going to arrive in October? Does the maneuver make that much of a difference? Jesus. I think we can probably win, uh, beat them before that happens. It's a bit of a gamble, but I think we can pull that off. In fact, we might be able to scare off the other army. Because I do out-morale him. Will he take a river crossing? Yeah, he will. Will he? It depends on what leader we're using. Nah, it doesn't matter. I still want to use the 05. So. Uh, let's make sure we're shift consolidated. Okay, and now we have 12 days to win. Oh, I rolled a zero. No rip. And a four, a four and a nine, basically, effectively. Okay, I'm not gonna win this before they come in. So this was a mistake. And a, zero, a nine to zero again. 
Um, yeah, I'll take the legitimacy. I think we need to run now. Probably. Yeah, this isn't gonna go anywhere where we want it to, so. Time to run away. I'll have to somehow try to split this army up. I'm not sure how to do that. Might also want to add, like, another infantry somewhere. So I could fight into him. Um, it'll take him quite some time to re-enter it. Nah, I, nah, it's still not the best one. Use burger loans? Oh, no thank you. We don't need to take that many more loans. We've not even taken that many. Okay, so he is marching in there. Try so moving into these mountains, scorching that. Maybe we can get a trap going here. Or here. Or down there. I'll just send a dude out ahead. Alright, well this will already work. And I can move in there before he does. He's not movement locked yet. I'm gonna hope he gets move lock tomorrow. Okay, he doesn't, but he's still wanting to move in. Does he not realize, or? Okay. Well, that'll work. Uh, so we got, yeah, more than enough time to beat them separately. That's good. Wait, what? the game lied. Well, that's why he didn't want to move in there separately. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that is, no, that is, uh, I disagree with that. That, that was not my fault, all right? Like, that is, that, I, that, that is, that, that, that's fake news. Stop the count. This is, that, that, I'm gonna win anyway, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna win anyway. Right? Right? Yeah, okay. But, um, I, di I disagree with that. <laughs> right, we can get another faith aspect. Uh, so, let's see here. Tolerance for heathens plus two. No, no, no. Um, this thing or that thing? I think we're gonna go for the interest per annum thing now. Yeah, let's do that. What is that behind my head? Is that a bird? No, it's not a bird. I don't need to bird this. Also, I don't... Yeah, he, he probably can't flip leader. Okay, easily beat that. I don't know where he's running off to. Problem is, if we're not fighting him, we can't stack weapon because he keeps running away. Um... And also, we just don't have enough troops to stack weapon. I think it might be better if I just took the loans and build an extra two units. Because it'll be very expensive anyway. The issue is I can't get more Merc Companies, and if we can't ever get two to one, even if we fight him separately, or find his units separately... That's kind of sad. Then I'll never be able to end this war, because I need to stack weapons troops. There's no other way. This is very good, though, because he missed his morale tick. So, depending on where he goes now... Okay, well, that's the only place that he could go. Clever AI. Clever AI. Uh, yeah, I need to occupy something else, because I can't demand anything over here. Ugh, shoot. Seems like we're back, uh, back to square one here. Yeah, it keeps hiding away, so I can't, I can't end the war like this. Also, we need to walk around, like, really awkwardly because of the Shewa Fort. How's the performance? Uh, it's quite well, I'd say. I, uh, I think uh, it's definitely better than before. Thing is, 
most of the lag was like in the late game for me and I've not gotten there yet so inconclusive I'd say not sure but it feels a lot faster all right let's see okay I'm gonna just walk around over here and maybe he'll move into lost again this time I have to pay close attention because apparently it lies like really hard so Okay, now, if I tell you to move in there, is it like gonna up, uh, they're gonna beat us to it anyway. Oh goodness, Ethiopia. Just bump into my units, please. That's all I'm asking you to do. I guess we could just start a siege, but he'll come kill me. Like, that doesn't really work. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see here. I can't seem to get him to split up his units in a nice way. Also, he's on siege Hadija and uh, Damot, so now his vassals are gonna start building units again. And they're building units like really enthusiastically, which is also kind of weird. And it seems like my units are still de definitely constantly splitting up into a million pieces every time I tell them to go somewhere. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna start the shame for it. I'm just gonna start it. Cause, uh... Okay, he just got an event to move his capital to Gondor, so I guess we'll just go siege that down. I didn't want to siege down Shewa earlier, but... Gondor, I'll definitely try to siege down. Even though he's got all these uh, units, right? Like... Right, hold on. I need to open the door for my cat. Moving capital whilst at war. It's not. It's because of an event. Ethiopia is the only one that gets to do that. Eh. Headphones are all tangled up. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna siege down Gondor because this place has zero garrison in there now, but we can't walk into it right away, unfortunately. I guess I could have gambled that he would do that. Um, I don't know if they do that if the province is occupied. But I'm pretty sure it can happen. It's a shame because we had this occupied for a really long time, so. 
I'm not entirely sure if there's like a Jewish achievement. Hold on, there must be. Yeah, yeah, as a Jewish nation, convert all of Egypt to Jewish whilst having Jewish community aspect active. And we get our second government reform, which uh, is gonna be the nobility thing because I will want to get rid of this eventually. All right, cool. So if we get lucky and get a breach, then we have this uh, war end it right now. But we get a supply shortage. And Damot still has an army. What's your thought about the new AI? Seems a lot better to- Oh god, he just peaced out. Well, that's nasty. Uh, cause now he's gonna fully focus on us. And I think... Okay, we can't run- run away. Maybe I can shatter retreat? I really need this breach right about yesterday. Come on, breach! Breach! Miracles! Nope, no miracles. Uh, not sure. I think we want to tech up to tech 5 as well, cause he's probably close to getting that as well. Uh... A good place to dev, where would that be? Eh. It's not exactly great, is it? Well, I would like to get the gold mine and dev there for Renaissance. Everyone needs to bird sometime. Oh no. Not us. We don't need the bird here. I'm kind of curious what he's gonna do now. So he should get his dudes and stop me now, but he's not doing that. Okay, defenders desert, 151. For the second reform, we will take strength and noble privileges. How can you not know that simple rule? I mean, this one's uh, better, but this one's nicer because we pick the mean thing, command the military, and I need to get rid of that one point. And the only way to do that is uh, to get this. Uh, we got 50% so far, and he's just busy on sieging his land, so that's actually very interesting. I don't know why he's not doing that. Are you doing a campaign or just testing new mechanics and such? Uh, well, I mean, we're going to go form Jerusalem. Um... Alright, form Israel, so I don't... I guess both at the same time? I don't... I don't know. At one of seven? Seven as? What? <laughs> okay, so I got Gondor, and uh, now if we can get all the occupations back that we had before, should be able to piece him out. Thing is, I still won't be able to demand uh, Damot. No, I am. Never mind. I can totally take it. Alright, well, that's good. Um, obviously, I'm gonna want money. And what else do we want? I think an anomaly teaches with Kaffa. And I also want to fabricate a claim on him. Yeah. Let's do it. Um, hmm? Yeah, that seems good. Uh, I think. Yeah, we'll just try and see what kind of war score we can get by splitting these guys up. It should be quite a bit, but I don't know how he's going to move around. Be curious to see. I think he might start to protect the siege again like last time. Let's go split these guys up. What is the red fort notification? It's that someone is sieging me down. So there's some Aloja separatists here, and he's moving into Gondor. Not sure if we scorched this before or not. We didn't. But if he's just gonna siege that down, then we can probably get a little bit more war score by just uh, carpet sieging. I don't know what he's gonna do though. Let's try moving around. He's eventually gonna want to move into this. And this is scorched. So I guess I'll keep my army in nearby. Oh sure, I'll take that. In fact, I'll do it like this. So if I want to keep those occupations, we're going to need to move around like this. Wait, you left for 10 minutes, are we losing? Nah, we're winning. We just got the capital sieged up, so... Yeah, it seems he's pretty hell-bent on occupying all of this, so... Wait, what? Oh, well now we're losing, because he's occupied Dembija. We're going to have to unsiege it, somehow. Uh, let's take a look here. How will I do that? Uh, I can't. I have to walk all the way around, which I'm not sure we have the time to do. Oi, 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 that's actually really awkward. Uh, is Simeon Scorch? It's not. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll start to march around and we'll change direction if we have to. But I'm not entirely sure about this. If he gets a breach anywhere, we're, we're screwed. Yeah, let's 
try marching around like this. Take Beja for more expansion path? Uh, I don't want to do that because we need to spend our uh, next points on delving for Renaissance anyway. Oh, you're joking. Okay, well, we pretty much have no choice but to move into Simeon. No, we don't. And I'm gonna pay the extra price for this. It's not a lot, but it'll have to do. It's 15% extra shock. Or 15 shock modifier. We'll need to get really lucky. And retreat across the Tembija and hope he doesn't cha uh, chase us. Or just win. That will work too. Just winning. I don't think this is going to make the difference, but whatever, we'll get it. Certainly not going to want to switch into new units right now. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll take that. Alright. And we have no choice but to just charge in here. Does everyone attach to the free company? See if we move around normally, and we do. Yeah, I'm we'll gonna have to see what he does. I think he's gonna reinforce. I think he probably should reinforce. Okay, he's not reinforcing. That's good. Okay, now unless he... Uh... Okay, well he's got 7%. How much fort defense do we have? 11. That's not a lot, but I need... Dembija occupied. 32 days versus 24. I do have a fort defense guy available. That's gonna buy me 12 days. Um, sure. Or gamble. No, because he's on uh, high enthusiasm now because he occupied Ambija. So even after I unsiege it, I'll need a, like a month tick or something to happen for it to update. Okay. Now please update. Please recognize I'm making the gains. Okay, you see, I'm recognizing I'm making the gains. So, uh, I think we should piece him out now. Alright, cool. And he would be willing to give us this, which is very nice. Um, we can even demand war reparations. Or an extra pro. Can I take this for- Oh, I can take the four. Okay, I'm taking that four because that four is really annoying. Yeah, alright, this is fine. Let's do it. Beautiful snake over here. Uh, so I'm actually going to keep this fort because it's uh, really nice on the mountain and it protects my gold mine. So now, because we own this, he probably won't occupy Damot ever, and we can just keep the, uh, whoa, 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 maximum level of loads. That's a thing I haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> Alright, let me go rival Metarbari here. And we've made him on all the treaties there, so if we fight this guy, uh, we'll be able to humiliate Metarbari and get some war score like that. Uh, so let's not be wasting runs here. I would like to get the North South African South African warrior. And how many loans can I take? Twenty six. Okay, so we could pay off a couple of these. Almost all of them, and probably retake some of them because we've doubled in loan size. Man, it's been a while since we played with Lois. This is cool. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, I think I'm on a Celsius. That's fine. Sexy. Alright, cool. And... Kind of also want to get rid of my war exhaustion here, because... No, no, no. We won't. We won't. Let's try and be point efficient here. I'm just going to core this, and then we'll be on a merry way. Jim Bob! Flurry looking submissive, but not quite as beautiful today. Wow, that's so rude. Jim Bob, thank you for the bits, man. Tip out of these here. Does Simeon exist on the start? Uh, no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't exist on the start. You have to play your Melissa's. And I think that's the only way to play with Jewish now, because um, Ethiopia gets an event to convert the Jews, like, almost instantly. So, 
Now, let me put you on hostile trading. So we can quickly go fight this war. Oh yeah, I love a good story. Great. Let's do it. And we can get our Inquisitor, which I suppose we will, but I can't get him just yet. Oh no, I can. Let's just do it as well. Wait, what the hell? Okay, never mind. I misread. Am I going to form Israel? Uh, that is the idea, yeah. But first I'm gonna want my Renaissance because we are uh, gonna be falling behind here. So these techs, for, so getting to tech 4 would be more expensive, but it's not because uh, you don't need Renaissance to get Tech 4, which I think makes a lot more sense, and also it's just, it's just very convenient. So I, I quite like that new change. Actually, don't we not have claims on these? Oh, we already have a claim on Kaffa. But I'm, I'm still breaking truce. We can declare war in uh, December, so I don't need to fabricate a claim yet, because we got all the claims for the mission. Now, which one would be better to death push? Damot or this thing? Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, so we'll just do Damot. Yeah, but I will want to convert it first, so. Okay, Truce with Kaffa's is over. Let's go to Claire, and we can't set him as a rival, right? Oh, well, we can. All right, great. But I'll uh, just send an insult over to, or uh, I'll just uh, humiliate Metabari here. Are we all properly attached? Seems like we are. Nice. So let's try uh, playing with the in-game soundtrack so we can listen to the new music. Uh... Ah! You didn't hear that. Alright, never mind. I can't play with the in-game music because apparently we have that DLC enabled. I like how that was the first song. I like how that was the first song. <laughs> oh man. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can get some music for you here. There we go. Listen, Klasmer. Uh, I'm gonna get banned if I do that, most likely. What's the goal of the camping? Uh, the goal of the camping is to have a good time in the wilderness. Uh, maybe make some marshmallows. And, uh, you know, all that good stuff. Okay, he's moving into Shewa. Interesting. I'm just gonna occupy this and leave it on the back burner. We'll leave like 1k behind and then go fight uh, this, this guy. I like how Ethiopia warned us, but it's too little too late. Because we're already winning. And am I still using the... I would like my morale of armies guy back. The one that's stupid to maintain. What's the goal of the champagne? Uh, the goal of the champagne is to not uh, put someone's eyes out. Is that like the number one reason people lose eyes? It's very important when you open a bottle of champagne to keep your thumb on the bottle. Very important. If you don't, could just pop off at any given time, you know? Very dangerous. Very dangerous. There's a lot of pressure on that, uh, on that cork. Uh, Hofadame! Thank you so much for 12 months in a row, man. Tip out of the user. It's support to use a saber? Oh god, no, don't, no. That's just a meme. That's just like, oh no. Don't use this saber. That's dangerous. All right, cool. Um, I want to move. I'd like to charge into this. But... Okay, that is the army we're attached to. So let me attach you as well. I will wait for this guy to come along. Unless no, he wasn't low morale, right? We can just go in. What about a lightsaber? I suppose a lightsaber will be safe. But yeah, you should probably only use a saber if you've been trained as a Sabraninian sa 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 saber person. Do not do that at home. <laughs> but Flory, I have all these sabers r lying around. Um, I want to use the Fencer. No, Sabrateur. That's the one. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Oh god, he's running into the uncolonized. Are you joking? Really? 
No, you can't. And I'm gonna get the rebels, watch. When I move into him, I'm gonna be the one that gets the rebels. No, don't run into the uncolonized. Why would you? And I can't follow him either. So texts that have discovered in Renaissance give malice if you don't have it now. Yes. Yes. So for example, the second tech is more expensive because it's 30% because of having a base Renaissance. And tech 7 will be 50% and everything will be 50% after that. And I don't know if it's disconnected. Like, I don't know if the, uh, if you get through the Renaissance text, if you don't need to pay more. I'm assuming you do, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we're gonna move into Janjiro. Um, and it says I'll beat him to it. But, I mean, I already have units there, so it doesn't really matter, does it? But it won't be a wipe, which is important because... I need to. He's just gonna run into the jungle again now. Although, Valeta is open, so he could just run in there. I don't know why he's not... Yeah, he's gonna run into this again. I can guarantee it. Yeah, he will. Ugh, so inconvenient. Yeah, before we start deving, we're gonna want to convert Dumult. And he did run into the rebels now, so even if he wins... I uh, Okay, but he's, he, he doesn't win. Cool, so we can probably get rid of the free company now or something like that because I don't need as many guys. Nubian com companies at 3-3, I think I'll get rid of these because they're very expensive. Although we are going to get a bunch of rebels. But we'll deal with that when we deal with that. It's all like, actually it's 9k, kind of expensive. Uh, how much wars do we have on Metabari? 26. Oh, right, and now when we're gonna take land, I guess I'll show you, because uh, they changed the OE, the war score, and the, um, oh my god. Ah, uh, right, Coptic is hard to convert. Um, also we could add another unit, so let's do that. Nah, we'll be fine. Uh, once I've statified it, I can uh, uh, make it, make everything nice. But I will need to statify it first. Or finish the core first. And... We don't have a siege general. Okay, so now we can statify the mod. And... Yeah, it's primary culture, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, cool. Uh, let's go core it. And now the conversion is going to be a lot cheaper. Just go use the religious unity edict. Are there wonders only for the Jewish religion? Uh, no. There is the city of Jerusalem, which will apply if I'm Jewish. It gives me missionary strength versus heretics, which kind of sad because we don't have heretics. Uh, but in order to get the extra missionary, you need to fully upgrade it. Thankfully, we have an event to do that for us, so... That's cool. Send half your army without a general to the uncolonized province. What? Half my army without a general to the uncolonized province. Challenge. Uh, no, I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay, so over here, we could pick Jewish community and then we get don't get penalties. Or you could pick home of the Jews and then we get 35. I think we'll do Jewish community just to see what this is like. Yeah, let's use it. And if we you combine that with this. I don't think it would work. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't work. I haven't conquered any. Okay. So this should have like no negative effects, right? No owned Jewish will suffer the effects from non-accepted culture and same culture group as long as this active aspect is active. But it does. Right? Oh! 
so it does apply, but then it gets it adds another thing to make it not apply. Ah, uh, I see. No, that makes sense. This province overcame the cultural differences with its overlord and see themselves as Jews first, connecting with the owner of the province. All right. So it means that if we get the other thing, that this will just. I don't think this is gonna apply there then. Because it doesn't, it's not an accepted culture, so this will not work in combination with the other thing. 100%. If you go Empire rank, it makes it useless. No, because it also applies to non accepted culture. So it, it means that you will not get negative mission. It's actually really powerful. It means you won't get negative missionary strength by owning this, because you'll get a province modifier that will add missionary strength. Right? I, th I think so. I think that's how it works. Anyway, uh, we can pay a little bit less for our troops here. Uh, less still. How much paying am I paying on the interest? 231 is our total debt. Okay, we need to up it a little bit. The village will work because of the same culture group. Yeah, yeah, oh no, yeah, it will work here. You're right. I don't know if this is good though. Because right now we're already. How's our crown land situation? Let's go take a look. Right now we're sort of stable. If I grab this, we will no longer be stable. Uh, let's just grab it and see what it does. Uh, it gives me an extra missionary strength, so. We just grab that, but now when I take this, uh, what? Oh, grabbing this made me lose crown land? I'm pretty sure grabbing this made me lose crown land, and that's why I changed. Yeah, 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 that's why I changed. All right. Lose influence and loyalty? No, thank you. Yeah, because we grabbed it, it changed. I'm also gonna revoke this. What's your equilibrium? 45. Okay, I don't wanna revoke that. Yeah, it cost me Crowland to give that one, so. But our equilibrium, at, at least it means that the equilibrium's not, okay, now it changed. Uh, is it still stable? It's not. So now our crown land's like 25, a new equilibrium, which is where you want it to be. This is the sweet spot. I like it at 25, at least, you know, before absentism and stuff, because then you can sell crown land at 25 and then seize to keep you at 20, uh, and then slowly make your way over to 25 again, because you get more money the more, the lower your crown land is. So I like having 25, I think it's a sweet spot. I see the clergy is called rabbis now. Well, yeah, if you're Jewish. All right. Cool, cool, cool. And we got Kaffa. How's the performance? Uh, you can just uh, see how the performance is, I suppose. Uh, it seems to be better, but I haven't played in the late game yet, so I am not entirely sure. Also, I've only played whilst not streaming, so that kind of complicates matters as well. Um, still can't use my second merchant, unfortunately. And yeah, I'm not piecing this out with that. Whoa, okay. That kind of caught me off guard. Not gonna lie. Uh, are you gonna win that? I don't know. We do have way more morale than they do, but this is very nasty. We're gonna want to run here, I'm pretty sure. Also, what kind of leader is this? Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna want to run there. I have to go get ready to fight that later. Am I going to form the USA in this run? Uh, no, no, I'm not gonna form the USA. I'm gonna form Israel. Alright, cool. Metabari, let me go humiliate you. And I guess we'll get some money as well. 
So does this still give AE? Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> because it doesn't give me anything. You will not gain anything at your capital as there is not enough here to buy a development in our capital to take any for ourselves. However, you can still pillage if you like. It'll just be malicious. So will they actually lose development? Six and six. Let's see. Also, if I do this, I should get a year's worth of manpower. Let's go take a look. So a year's worth of manpower will be 12... 12... 14... 44... Manpower, give or take. So let's go take a look how that works. Does it show in here? Okay, so I think we're gonna get 1.40. Let's see. Uh, I didn't count, but... Pretty sure that's what it gave me. So that's pretty cool. Of course, now my equilibrium's changed again. We might not be at 25 anymore. But yeah, we've accumulated a rival, so that's very nice. Got 1450. Ah, right, okay. Uh, that just means I can't count. But at least it works, so that's good. This little new patch? Yes, this is the new patch. Um, now, it's kind of awkward this. I'm just gonna build a bunch of units. I don't know if these guys are gonna, like, gonna move, but I don't think they are. I don't see why they would. I'm still trying to convert that province. This is actually really awkward. Can't provoke these revolts. We could peace out. Uh, and every time we peace out, we get 10 crown land, yeah? Or uh, 10 faith power. Because we have this uh, Purim teachings. Yeah, okay, so let's take a look, right? So Ethiopia, or uh, Kaffa over here, is 43% more score. Uh, of course, we get a discount on Kaffa. Uh, but, okay, so take a look at Janjiro. Janjiro, if I click on it, says 5, 8, 9. Okay, it rounds up, but then when you select both, it rounds down again. Uh, I suppose I can't really show you the uh, war score cost reduction, but believe me, it's there. Um, how would I show you the OE reduction? Alright, so this is 11, so... Wait, hold on. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, okay. So this is seven... Okay, uh, here you go. So this is uh, seven development. And instead of it giving seven overextension at the game start, it only gives me 5.6. Which is 80%, right? Yeah, I'd say so. So yeah, he's... Uh, I don't know what his total dev is. Uh, let's see. 10... 20, uh, 31, and then p times 0.8, uh, probably this. <laughs> yeah, the adjective for uh, Beta Israel is, uh, or for Simeon is Beta Israel, yeah. Wait, isn't that a huge buff? It is a huge buff. It is very nice. I wouldn't say huge buff, it's just... They changed it because they've been adding so many provinces and they were like, we should probably lower the war score cost and the OE and the AE and all of that good stuff. So it is slightly easier to uh, conquer the world. You can take 25% more land compared to now. You basically start the game with 20 admin efficiency. Well, no, it's still the same cost to core everything. But yeah, it is quite a bit easier to take more land, definitely. Right, could you please, uh, I know he's not gonna move, you're right, we should probably just go waltz straight into him, because uh, this is never gonna change otherwise. And there's no real reason to be at peace here, but if I take this, my foursome is gonna go up, and then these rebels will increase in size, and I don't want that to happen, so. I'm just gonna first fight these real quick, and then hopefully these will fire next. There we go. Alright, sweet times. Now I don't need to unsiege this, because it will get automatically unsieged. Easy money. And Agu is the last one. Now this conversion, uh, how much base strength do we have here now? 
4.3. It's pretty good. It's a reduced as well. I'm pretty sure they said that it was reduced as well, but I can't, it's hard to measure, right? Optimality, thank you so much, Crime Gaming Man. Tip matter to you, sir. Um, yeah, could you please just fire? Okay, I'm not gonna wait around for this. We have enough units. And uh, we can safely piece this out now. And Pence, thank you so much for 15 months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, sir. Alright, sweet. I uh, missed up a cute little full next station. I'm just gonna start these cores. I don't want to spend my dip on buying down the war exhaustion, so... Uh, I would like to do some stuff to these. Also, what am I supposed to do here? Get my legitimacy up. Uh, well, I guess we could just abdicate soon, but... Um, could I give you anything else? Oh, that's funny. You can use this in combination with the... Uh, religious culture. But I want to give these guys enforced religious unity of faith. We have how much? We really don't like heathens. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if we weren't Simeon, this would be negative seven tolerance. That's crazy. <laughs> Tigray area gets dev cost reduction. That's not the area that I want to dev, right? No. Uh, Tigray is over here. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. No, no, we really, really don't like heathens with our current setup. Alright, could you please just fire? I'm getting so sick and tired of this. I just want you to... Oh, what's this? Uh, after leaving the land of the Pharaoh, your people wandered the desert for 40 years until they reached the Promised Land. In that time, whilst at Mount Sinai, Moses received the Torah from the Lord. This is what we celebrate on Shavuot. Shavuot? Shavu Shavuot? One of the three Shalosh R German Erman Regalim. I, I don't know what you meant with that. You said to pronounce the R like German? Erman? Regalim? Regal Regalim? I don't Although it was customary for the Shalosh Regalim to consist in a pilgrimage to Jerusalem uh, to offer sacrifices in the temple, that's not possible anymore since the destruction of the second temple. I wonder if these events are going to change if I uh, retake Jerusalem. Not in the word German. Ours in German. Rot. Regalim? Rot. Rot. Regalim? Like that? For the love of God, he meant the R in Jewish sounds like the R in German R's. Rot. Regalim. I don't. Not rolling R. R is G H. Hello, Flori. Uh, he said the R in German, so I assumed that he meant that. Otherwise, but okay. So he meant the R is in German. Okay. Uh, probably a little bit more throat. It's not the rolling R, but a little bit more like like G. I hate it when we get to pronouncing things, because... Shalosh regale him. Shalosh regale him. Shalosh regale him. Regale him. There you go. I think this one was right. Shalosh regale him. Regalim? Regalim? I'm gonna try it one more time. Shalosh Regalim. Shalosh Regalim. Shalosh Regalim. Shalosh Regalim. Regalim? Shalosh Regalim. Hello, Flori. Shalosh Regalim. Shalosh Regalim. Regalim? Ah! Bar Mitzvah! <laughs> It seems like it was yesterday that Kian won to, 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 to the heir of our duke was born. But the time has come for him to become a full fleshed, a fully fleshed adult. According to the Jewish law, until now he was responsible for. He was the responsibility of Duke Joram I Asabi. But from now on, he will be held accountable for his own actions. 
It has always been tradition amongst Jews that when boys reach 13 and girls 12, yeah, he just reached 13, they become full members of the community with the responsibilities that come with it. They can already be called to read the Torah, lead and participate in the prayer quorum and have the right to marry, but they also have the obligation of knowing the Jewish law and abide by it. It is expected for us to host a party to celebrate such occasion. It will also be the perfect opportunity to present Kion one two 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 to the court, and for him to strengthen his bonds with it, preparing him for when he has to start ruling our nation. Let us spend lavishly. Lavish bar mitzvah. So he gets more claim, which I suppose is interesting, but you don't really need that. Um, you also get 20 prestige, and the rabbis get really happy. Uh, this is less of that for ch less money. We need to be moderate. Or there's no need to celebrate, and then you lose 20 prestige. <laughs> no bar mitzvah at all. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's spend lavishly, because prestige is nice. There you go. I wonder if that's a cool way to like farm prestige. But I guess you need to wait 12 years for them to hit 12 years old first, so... Man, there's a ton of rebels over here. Um, yeah, let's see here. I must be over forcing it. I am. Here, let's get rid of the free company. They were almost out of manpower anyway. All right, cool. Rechalim. Now you have enough prestige to disinherit him. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't want to do that. I think uh, we want to... Let, let's see, where, where do we want to go? I think I want to go through Ethiopia next. There's nothing else for us to fight. We could go fight Valeta, who's allied with Ethiopia. Uh, he's been integrating his vassals. When is my truce with Ethiopia over? Ten years from now. Alright. Well, I think Ethiopia is going to be the next person that we fight. And it actually seems like he does... Keep moving his capital around, which is nice. He can do that really cheaply, but I... Uh, the other provinces he has would slowly gain autonomy. Yeah. But that's mostly because of his crown land ownership being ass. Alright. Is Judaism the most powerful religion in the world now? No, that's Catholic. Catholic is the most powerful religion. Either that or Hindu. But really, what, what is best is uh, Hindu into Catholic. So you start Hindu, and then you go Catholic. That is probably the best uh, thing to do. So you can join that super one there. So we've converted Damot. Uh, I want to start deving here straight away, so I'm already going to move into this. And uh, let's try getting ourselves some Renaissance over here. So there's nothing else that we can really do. I can't make these guys more happy unless we get this legitimacy thing finished, which is not going to happen. Uh, so yeah, let's just start deving. I'm gonna go gold first, and then we'll see what we can do. There's nothing else we can really do. Totemus is pretty stupid. Yeah, Totemus is pretty stupid. Zoroastrian's now definitely the best military religion. Zoroastrian Zulus. If you really wanted to make a meme. Uh, can we afford to spend this? Yeah, I'd say so. Let's just do it three times and then we'll be good to go. Uh, also, I think I want to lower the autonomy here. We could also raise the autonomy and move my capital here, but then we should have already done that. So I guess I'll just lower the autonomy. Get some more money that way. Man, it is quite expensive to dev this, but needs to be done, and we're almost uh, getting into renaissance now, so... And we're making money! Nice! Zoroastrian Zulus in Zimbabwe, yeah. Um, actually, Kilwa would be kind of cool, right? Because Kilwa can explore Persia for you, which is nice, but... I don't know about Zulu, you can only play them as tech 15, your Inno, etc. will be ass. Well, I mean... You don't really need... I mean, it's not like it's... It's just a fun country that you can play. Um, they also have a couple missions, I believe, but not, not too many. But yeah, they have uh, very good military ideas. It's not like Prussia good, but it's... Well, actually, it's sort of like Prussia good, I suppose. 
Okay, finish that second gold mine. I will also want to statify this. And we're gonna start getting the religious unity fixed because we definitely need that. I think our first idea is gonna probably have to be religious or something because I don't see how else we're going to uh, work the shaft on that. Uh, Sukkot. It's the same story as uh, last time except now you get uh, stability cost for auction. Very nice. Uh, have the achievements been released? Uh, no, I still can't see them on Steam, but I can see some of them in here, the ones that we're eligible for. So, we need to have 10 global unrest and be winning in a coalition war, which was targeted against me. Uh, the only way to get this is to just go completely ham. Uh, as a Jewish nation, convert all of Egypt to Jewish whilst having the Jewish community aspect active. Uh, don't like sand, and at Wix's legacy have 10 personal unions at the same time. We can't get those, I don't think, because we're Jewish. Sweet. Um, I think I'm gonna do one more admin and then we'll be good to go here. So how close are we to being able to revoke one of these things? Okay, not close at all. All of this deving did give me quite a bit of extra crown land, which is nice. Uh, I guess we could sell. Sell C's. Always a nice idea. Oh. Okay, did not mean to press that one. And how close are we to this? Yeah, I'm gonna do one more mill and then another admin and then we'll be good. Right? Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, so we got ourselves a renaissance. We can go embrace it. And bite on our... Crap. Probably get some advisors now. I wanna try rolling for the, um... Actually, no, I can't. I really need this missionary strength guy. Like, without the missionary strength, it's it'll be very hard to... Wait, who's this? Yemen? Oh, and he's allied to Ethiopia. That is an unholy alliance, if I ever saw one. Also, you're very nicely vassalizable. Yeah, look at all his cores. Very sexy. I've got uh, CB on him as well. And our truce with Ethiopia isn't going to end until 1470. So if I can, like, bum rush Ethiopia, we can probably uh, fight this. I'm not entirely sure if I should vassalize him, but, I mean, it's... That'd be nice. Conquer the Gulf of Adam as well. We'll have something to funnel our trade into. Maybe get a second advisor or a second merchant uh, home. Um, yeah, he is definitely vassalizable. It's a lot of enemies though. It's 50k. Although half of those are Ethiopian, right? Yeah, yeah. And we could probably still uh, Blitzkrieg him. I, I believe we can. Dorva seats also have a lot of cores there. They have really good mill ideas and make for a good marsh. I think I'll make them into a Jewish vassal, actually. I will want to integrate that eventually, but conquering this land without paying the AE seems like a good idea. Yeah, definitely. Sure. And I think we can get away with it as well. Uh, I do want to stabilize a little bit, though, and probably get tech 6 before trying this. I don't know how close these guys are, but... We've got our focus on mill, and we've accepted the renaissance, so it shouldn't take too long. I do want to core Kaffa as soon as we can, and lower the autonomy there as well. Because it hasn't fired yet. Also, we need to deal with like a million rebels, though. Uh, yeah, let's start converting Kaffa. Uh, if I do that, I can't finish the core. So I'll wait two months. Um, what we also need is to build a little bit more units. And that, that'll be a lot of faith power that we can then use to... Alright, it'll make me lose one inflation and give me 42 dockets. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see what Keon is. Wait. Okay, he's 15. I thought because he had his bar mitzvah that we might be allowed to make him into a leader earlier, but no. Uh, it's a DLC and a patch. Although it's not a DLC, it's an immersion pack, right? I, I mean, I guess that's the same thing, but it, it's not an expansion, it's an immersion pack. Jewish faith seems really strong in MP. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, I mean, it's, it's cool. I wouldn't say it's a good MP. I mean, it has Devon cost, right? Which is like... Very good. Um, 
Yeah, it might have been an idea to flip into that, actually. But I wanted the Jewish community. So we need- and uh, this is really expensive. It's 200 faith powers. I guess if it was 100, you'd be able to use it w way too often. Uh, we can core this now. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, it did spawn before we could lower the autonomy there. I'm still gonna want to do it, though. Uh, servers, I can't do any reviews until the 11th of November. And if I start to answer your question, then I'm gonna be reviewing it. Because of the, how the question is worded. So I can't... Uh, pretty sure I can't review anything until the 11th of November. It's uh, ten, uh, 10 euros. Alright. What, what affects faith growth power? A religious unity and... Uh, it's 26 monarch power times 10 modified by 39%. I don't know if like winning wars will also modify my uh, faith power gain. Like if, because now our religious unity is ass if we get ass uh, governments or um, points from that. Where's the penguins? The penguins? Th they're in the Falklands. A war was fought over the penguins. But you already said the new monuments were great. That's over, you made your review. Um, technically no, because you get those new ones if you had Leviathan as well, right? At least I'm pretty sure a bun bunch of them. Uh, so... Alright, hold on. Let me see the moth. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna fight this. I don't care. Although, I could just spend the money, but I mean, it's 10 peasants, right? Let's just go fight the 10 peasants. Winning Boris just gives flat 50 trade power. Uh, yeah, well, 10, but... Yeah, I normally don't fight these, but I mean, they were right here, so... May as well. And then we have Wolaton Separatists. Let's get over there. And, yeah, I guess we'll core the rest as well. Half staging tilt still totally works, and I still totally don't like it. I mean, I like doing it, it's really powerful, but pretty sure it will get fixed at one point, so. Oh, also, we need to statify everything? Oh, yeah, so this this was really interesting, right? Judaism, and I don't know how this one works. But this event, believe me, this fire is a lot, okay? Judaism is a non prolith pro -proli proselytizing religion and therefore it is rather difficult to bring new blood into our small community to add to this according to our tradition only children born to Jewish women are Jewish themselves which makes it dangerous for our people to allow their interreligious marriages to allow interreligious marriages if the bride belongs to our religion thankfully people from Kaffa previously following the other Abrahamic religions have realized that they believed in the Lord all the time and they have fully Embrace their Jewishness. Jewishness. And now you just flip Kaffa to Jewish. And this happens a lot. So, I mean, you know, it, it's nice. I'll take it. But, yeah. Uh, sure. Alright, let's go convert another... Actually, this we've already converted. So, we can turn this off now. And I guess we'll go convert this. Sure. How did you do that? I don't know. I don't know. Right, so we dealt with that rebellion. I'm pretty sure if we convert these provinces, there's also not going to be any unrest. Uh, also, I want to keep doing this. Uh, we could also... So, concentrate development, right? Three development will be taken from the state of Shewa. This translates into 65, 65, 65 at the source. So, deving over here... It's gonna cost me 50. After wastage... So we're wasting the 15. The state will lose 3 development, much of the development will end up in our capital, which some will be lost, in total we will gain 3 development. Uh huh. Alright, interesting. Um... It's a shame sometimes you can't use it. Like, if it 
is not enough to give you at least one dev that you can't concentrate development. So you can't mal maliciously concentrate development, which is kind of sad. Alexis Leo, thank you for some for 13 months of man. Tip matter to you, sir. Don't you want to concentrate full states? I suppose you... Oh, nice. I suppose you should, but... I just wanted to see how it was going to work out. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see here. I guess I got the Improved Relations one. Oh, let's take a look at the AE map mode. So, it's different now. I'm pretty sure Ethiopia is green now. Because he's not eligible to join a coalition. Because we have a truce with him. And he's going to turn red at the moment the truce runs out. But I don't know. Um, th there's other countries. Th it'll show you the opinion as well. So the A all around here is zero. Huh. Okay, well. We'll have to see how that works if we start to conquer some more land. Um... Where are you going to spawn? Right, right on top of my face. I'm just going to spawn this right now because I want to go to war. And... Well, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should just wait for the for the two to end. Then again, we won't be able to fight uh, Yemen separately. And if I fight now, quickly go uh, quite peace Ethiopia or maybe even steal their money. Then we'll be in a much easier position. Also, Damot's going to fire. How many dudes will you fire? Ten. Um, let's see. Can we hire our merc companies? No, we can't hire either of them, so I, I should probably just wait. Yeah, let's uh, stop paying for our army for now. Get some of this money back. Alright, sweet. Ethiopia is green because they have below 50 AE. Wait, what? Oh! Yeah, they'll also turn green if you have high enough relations. You think it would be better if concentrate development stored excess dev in a progress bar? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that would definitely be better. Um, or at least allow you to, but at least allow you to like uh, maliciously concentrate development, because you can't do that now. At least not that I'm aware of. Doesn't let you clear. I suppose Ethiopia can, because Ethiopia can move their capital. So Ethiopia is a great country to use, exploit, or concentrate development on, because whenever you'll just bring this all the way up to like 30, and then you can just move it and uh, get another province to like 30 dev. Because they, they, they can move it for like 50 admin, which could be a fun little meme. Uh, let me get rid of this. Start another conversion over here. Do we have this active? We do. Nice. What about if you pick a location for it to concentrate development instead of just being a capital? Oh, that could be cool too. Yeah, sure. That would work. Um, so at least you can always press it, right? Alright, so this place could do with a little bit of extra development. Um, I'll just wait. That's fine. Yeah, I, I want to dev this all the way up to like 10-ish uh, or something. So how does this work? Have grown by at least five states. I don't know if I need to like conquer five fully flesh states. Because I've conquered... Let's see. I, wa I started with two. This is three, four. Uh, no, wait. I started with two. One, two, three, four. So I need one more. And then we'll get more claims. So I might want to like take one province from Yemen. If I vassalize him. But I don't know if we should. Because we don't even have our merc companies right now. Which is kind of problematic. I might just white piece uh, Yemen. Um, so we can fight them again later. And that will reset the truce that we have with Ethiopia. Also they changed the color of Jewish. It's blue now. Look. It's blue. Such a shame about the nice pink. I really like the purple. <laughs> But, I mean, it's, I guess it's very different from what we... Hold on. From any of the other religions nearby. Because it did look a little bit... It did look a lot like Coptic. Jewish city of people time. Yeah. It was Byzantium purple. It was. It was. Where can I read the patch notes? Uh, there's a dev diary from last week where it showed the patch notes. Alright, cool. So I'm losing innovativeness. Uh, I will grab tech 6 here. 
And yeah, so now if we start to, because I'm focusing on Mill, right? Because we don't want to die. So now if we start to fall behind an admin and Canonimalism fires, we can we can kind of just ignore it because we can still we can just catch up, and uh, it'll be fine. So it'll be fine until we get to like the text that you need to get. Uh, like I believe it's like tech eight or nine that you need Canonimalism for. It also means that if you prevent a certain institution from spawning, you'll have to wait to grab the tech. Uh, because the game knows. <laughs> Alright. Uh, converting Shewa, let me just go use that Religious Unity Edict. And turn this off now. Yeah, I don't need it for Junjiro. Got nothing active over there, and we have Defensive active here. Let's turn that off as well. No, my Prussian Blue, what did they do to my little boy? <laughs> You poor thing. Have we not paid off our debt yet? Would have sworn we've paid off our debt. Okay, no, we haven't yet. And this legitimacy going to 100 is never going to happen unless I abdicate. But that's also going to make me lose 20 legitimacy. And I'm not so sure if we should. I mean, getting more ammo would be very nice, but... Toxic Hazard X... Uh, well, thank you for some 42 months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, sir. Okay, so our Ethiopian guy got caught. I don't want to, like, fabricate claims, because if we take one more province, I'll get permaclaims on all of his land. And I, I can do that whilst I'm at peace, but... Yeah. Uh, I think we might need to, like, core one province, and then get, we'll get the claims on the rest. That's probably the most efficient thing to do. Uh, this dude is not part of a separate state. Yeah, I think we should just fight Ethiopia directly. It's probably best. Oh, and Yemen doesn't want to join now, so this is actually perfect. Yeah. Oh, and Yemen is actually dying to uh, the Rasids. Oh, no, wait. Yemen is reconquering his land, but he's losing. Okay. Double check that. I don't think they're permit. Well, no, they're not permit. Whoa! Okay. So, Kian, one, two, 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 two. <gasps> Caleb! Caleb got Kapabu! Uh, okay. Disinherit. Okay, don't die. <laughs> so we have our kid, Kion, one, two, 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 the first Asabi as our leader right now. Uh, I like how he's called just a duke as well, which is interesting. Uh, now we can encourage conversion to Judaism and get even more tolerance of heathens negative. And we're now up to negative uh, five, I believe. It's gonna update, right? Wait, what? Can I not count or is this not? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, we would have 0.5, but our legitimacy increased. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to do this because I... I mean, it's going up. I guess we could wait. Yeah, we'll just wait. It's fine. It'll go up. It'll go up. It's fine. Unless... Uh, when do I need to finish this? Yeah, I got six years. Also, we can sell and seize. Very nice. So now we can pay off our remaining debt. We don't have anything to spend our money on. I guess we could build a barracks in Damot and Kaffa. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just wait for the two stand with Ethiopia. I think that's best. Yeah. Uh, hopefully this war will still be going on by that time. Also, I, I would love it if he got uh, completely kicked out of here because then we could just uh, reconquest. Very nicely. Yeah, expanding our borders is going to give me the most claims. Uh, religious alliances, we could try getting some of that. Let, let's see who might be eligible. Uh, we could actually ally Beja and Adal. I'm not sure how this is a religious alliance, but I'll do it. Okay. Oh, we need to have 150 opinion of them. And so much for my legitimacy. Have I ever gone hunting before? Uh, depends on what? Uh, no, I've not gone hunting before. <laughs> Never even fired a, a firearm or anything like that. I mean, I guess you could also hunt with a bow and arrow, but no, I've not gone hunting before. Well, it's time to hunt. Hunt what? 
Hunt what? It's for the greater good of the Jewish or religious lands. Oh, well, I suppose. But it says we must build lasting relationship with those who share our beliefs, our values and beliefs. Uh, but I mean, sure, I'll take it. So we have uh, this guy's discovered. So I guess I'll just improve relation with Beja then. Caleb wants to go hunting. No, Caleb's not gonna go hunting. Caleb's gonna sit, wait for his bar mitzvah, and then he's gonna become my leader. Instantly. As soon as he's uh, 15 years old. As soon as he's 15 years old, he's not gonna be waiting around for anything. Now, being able to use that uh, pillage capital in a bunch of countries would be kind of useful. Uh, Yemen's still not going to want to join this war. And how much time do we have? Uh, May 1470. Alright, that's good. Ew, I hate this one. Uh, but I guess we'll arrest them, that's fine. Uh, sure, I'll get the Diplo Rep guy. I'll have to flip him later, but nobody's got aggressive expansion on us anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We'll also royal marry these, but there's no real point to doing any of that. And we could grab some marketplace. Now, isn't there some missions that we can do? Building marketplaces? No, no, we need to like uh, build seven synagogues, which is like temples. And then we get 20% staff cost production for a really long time. Huh. Uh, I really like the uh, the new Catholic uh, mechanics in the in the patch, and also the new monuments. They they added so many monuments. I, John Jiro converted. Um, I can't see it, but there's a wonder in India that gives fifteen percent CCR, and there's a wonder in Malta that gives fifteen percent um, war score cost reduction. On uh, on on different religion though, on different religion. You can celebrate? Oh, yeah, shit, I can celebrate. Huh. But there's no pop-up for that. Okay. Uh, really? No, there's no pop-up for that. So we're gonna want to pay attention to this. Uh, but yeah, sure, we can celebrate. And we get 56 dockets. And we lose all inflation. Now, it, at 100... Uh, religious unity. How many times can I press this button? Oh, 2.4 each. Yes! You yeah, boy! Alright, I got a Regency Council. Uh, she's very cruel, but it means we'll get Caleb as soon as possible. <laughs> it does mean that I'll do this button though, because there's no way. Now that we're in the Regency, my uh, legitimacy is gonna be ass, so I don't. I just wanna click this button now so that we can. Start do other. Mi oh, never mind. We'd already done that. I'm blind. Sorry. All right, Sibia needs some uh, base production. That's fine because we're gonna get that by fighting Ethiopia anyway. He's still going hunting. Well, he can't now. But I mean, he he still could. But a, a two-year-old can't hunt actually. <laughs> never. <laughs> hunting actually only applies after they turn 15, which doesn't matter. All right, some extra grain. He can fall ill though, but he can't go hunting if he's uh, below f 15. Pretty sure, or I don't know what the minimum age is, but a two-year-old can't go out hunting. Okay. Enforced religious duty automatically removed here. Uh, Adol wants a royal marriage, so now let's go royal marry Beja as well. We can almost press that button. And when exactly do we fight Ethiopia again? 1470. Alright. Yeah, it'll offer mill access. Cool, cool, cool. Um, religious alliances. Alright, and if we vassalize a country that is not in a Jewish group, then we get more missionary strength and missionary maintenance. Alright. 
Oh, and then we need to integrate it. Uh, and then we can press that and we'll get Diplo Power and Prestige. And if we become a great power, then we get uh, Prestige, Decay, Atman, and Max Prestige. Okay. Interesting. Mogadishu, let's go. Mogadishu. Mogadishu got vassalized by Ajarab. Uh, looks like Yemen beat the. Wait, what? How? You're joking. Bull. Oh, that's sad. That means I can't vassalize him. No. Yeah. No, I can't. And they'll still join the war. So that's actually terrible. But I mean, it is what it is. Uh, let's see here. Two ends May. So it's time to pay for our army. No, he didn't form Yemen. If he formed Yemen, he wouldn't have been allied to Ethiopia. Also, Rusts are still right here. So, oh fuck me. Shit. Well, you spawned at the most inconvenient time possible. But I'm going to beat you anyway, right? Uh, I don't know. We're both at zero, but the battle can't end because neither of us has doubled the numbers. So, what happens now? I just win. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, I will want a new leader. We can get between 4 and 12 pips, so you could be a 6-6. Six, six. It is possible. Third night game versus 10? Oh, don't worry about it. Mr. Weep. I mean, you're, you're middle mode. Halfway. Uh, we could get the Nubian company as well as the free company, but I'm going to hold off on getting a free company. Also, do we have professionalism? We got one. I, I'm not going to wait around for that. Uh, yeah, I'll take the prestige. Thank you. I've got more than enough money here. Uh, tech 7 is still a ways away, so we don't need to worry about grabbing that. Yeah, 39k. Uh, we could probably instigate Valetha and also the, the mod guy. I, I haven't seen him move his capital for a while. I'm already gonna get the Nubian company here. Celebrate? Uh, I can't, there's no way. I got 34. Okay, choose with Ethiopia is over. Yeah, I think we'll just go for this. Oh, that's the Oh, let's see if this uh, uh let's test if this um thing still works. This is this is from me for you to test if if doing this still works. Uh, we're not, okay, it, it seems like that is still a workable feature. Yes, okay. <laughs> right, uh... Oh, this is interesting. So, Adal doesn't want to join, but if we click this... Wait, hold on. If we click that, then they do want to join. No, oh, never mind. They've got two sis. Until June, which is like next month. So we can just wait. And now he just wants to join directly. Uh, Ogaden, Ogad Ogadine is over there. I don't really care about that. Um, yeah, but I don't want to add more guys than I need to. And we'll have uh, plenty of stuff to deal with anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to fight this. Oh, I think, uh, I'm pretty sure Adal's just going to get stomped here. So Now we have some extra reinforcements, which is cute. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Still promising territory. Well, I, I, need, I still needed to. Because I didn't have enough favors. I do want it all to jump in, but... Whoa. Autonomy and Damot? No, 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 no. No, thank you. Alright, cool beans. Oh, you know what? What they did fix? Um... The, um... Not sure if they fixed paratrooping, but they fixed how you can get, uh, unexiled units by cancelling the mill excess and, uh... Walking out. So... 
One thing you could do to get exiled units, which are have a bunch of uses, but um, you could like, at, like say you're standing over here, you could walk into Wadi Halfa, move out, cancel the mill access. You'd still be allowed to walk into this, but then you would exile your troops, and then you could use those exiled units to power drop or prevent forts from unseaging land around them, or uh, uh, let's say your land is disconnected from each other, then you can use that to walk across without asking mill access to twenty different countries, and uh, you can't do that anymore. They fix that. Um, I'm not sure if they fixed paratrooping. I haven't tried. I suppose with boats would work as well. I don't think they would have fixed that. No. Uh, so I don't think we can separate piece this guy instantly. Uh, probably not. I'm not so sure if we should sit here. This is kind of dangerous, but I'm curious to see where they're gonna go. Uh, I'm Bimza. Thank you so much for 12 months in Roman. Tip matter to you, sir. No, I did not miss your 12 year anniversary. <laughs> Alright, so he's actually sieging down Zayla really quickly here. Darring our target without being a- Yeah, no, that should still work to get XL units, but... Uh, if you have disconnected land now, it'll be quite- It'll be quite difficult to move your units around, unless you want to ask mill access all the way around. Which I got makes sense. What happens now if you cancel mill access when the movement is already locked? Does it stop or do they not- Do they arrive not black flagged? I don't know. Might be able to do the alliance mission now? I've already done the alliance mission. Okay, yeah, he will try to stop this. It's a shame because we got all the way up to 42. I wonder if Adal will help me out here. Hey Adal, you wanna like, uh... Wanna like help out? Adal? Buddy? Bro? Bro? Buddy? Okay, now he wa now he does. I guess he wanted to wait for them to get movement locked, but that's kind of sad because if he marched in straight away, it would've... Been glorious. We got way more morale than they do. I, I'm guessing I still have that. Yeah, I still have that uh, bonus. Yeah, if they'd moved in from the start, we might have had a chance, but now I, I don't think we do. Well, who knows, actually. No, there's no way. Winged is ours? Oh my god! <laughs> no, we did win! Oh man, what a meme. Could you please stay here? Because they could just stop us right now, buddy. I just realized that you're going to be dealing with tons of AE because you're going to be getting the heathen thing non-stop. Yeah, probably. Now, Valeta is not a co-belligerent, but he's also heathen, so I don't really care about conquering him. Also, if I conquer him, I do I get another state? No, I don't. But I'm just going to take this. And I'll take his money as well. And this should give me 10 faith power now. Let's see, 61. I could also pillage him to get the, um, pillage him maliciously to get the manpower. And because it's maliciously, it doesn't give me, it doesn't cost me, um... Cost no AE and one dip. I'm not sure if it actually cost me the one dip. I'm gonna go check. And I'll keep his alliances, I guess. Yeah, sure. Let's go take a look. So I should get 10 faith power. And 185 times 12 manpower. I don't know how much that is. Okay, so I get the manpower. Very sexy. I also got manpower when I occupied the fort. And uh, yeah, I also got the faith power. Okay, very sexy. And I didn't lose the dip. Yeah, okay. I was testing that because it didn't lose the dip earlier in the previous patch. So I, I'm guessing it's still free then. Alright, interesting. Uh, we've also occupied Marahan. But I can't piece them out yet. And I can't pillage him either. We can walk over there with these units and try and put a stop to it. This is really dangerous though, but I want Adal to be separate piece out of the war so that I don't have to give him anything. But I guess we'll just walk around and... Yeah, okay, he just seats that down. Can you walk through Ogaden, please? Yeah, in terms of performance, I think... Uh, it's hard to tell. It's hard to judge before, like, we get into a league war or something. Oh, God. 
Skip! Okay. Yeah, so he's gonna be walking around. I hope he doesn't change his mind the second, a fifth time. Ooh, what's this? Important matter in the Sabbath. Today is Sabbath and therefore every Jew is bound to rest and devote their time to worship. I wonder if the 17th of June 1471 was a Saturday. Uh, it's Saturday, right? Not Friday. Or does it start? Uh, however, a matter of greatest importance has arisen and some advisors think it is important that Miriam focuses on it. The sole suggestion has raised some rabbis' eyebrows and swiftly words of condemnation have been... Yeah, it's Saturday. Um... Uh, Focus. Uh, this whole suggestion has raised some rabbis' eyebrows, and swiftly words of condemnation have been heard at court. It looks like whichever choice we take, someone will get angry. But what is the lesser evil? Must be respected, lose admin power, and the rabbis gain loyalty, and 25% chance of lose one stab. Or gain 100 admin power. <laughs> Screw the rabbis, get to work. Get a hundred at me, and they expect me to say no to that, and instead lose a hundred and fifty. Th no, thank you. <laughs> so if we can actually zone him away from these elogians, he, those guys might get their independence at one point, which could be very interesting. Our sole purpose right now would be to take out Madahan, and then I don't know, try and deal with Yemen. I don't. We don't have a navy, so I'll never be able to walk across unless we walk all the way through the desert for 40 years to reach the pr promised okay we gotta do it now <laughs> we gotta walk all the way through yeah sure we'll do it I mean, we're good at walking through the desert supposedly okay fantastic um can we yeah i, I don't really want to go over here also these are a login does that mean that they're not going to occupy this it, it does mean that I do need to un-siege uh, Dembija, though. Ambitious plan there? Mm, that'll work. But like I said, I want it all to get separate beast out so that we don't have to deal with that. And uh, if we do... Like, I'm hoping that he takes Taishura. We could even... Uh, liberate our crap. I don't know what we want from Yemen, because Yemen is not a Kobolitra. I can't vassalize him either. I think I just want them to annul his cities with Ethiopia and we'll fight him again some other time. Which we're not going to get from occupying this. We have to get into his land. Um, I'm hoping we can maybe get some exiled units somehow, but that's going to be hard to do. Um, hmm. Not entirely sure I'm gonna do the, any of that. Yeah, if only we could uh, walk across. That'd be a lot more useful. Alright. I uh, think we're good to go here. We could probably piece him out. I'll get half of the money if I do this. Uh, so I'm not really too interested. I'm just. Oh, but if he pieces out now, we're fucked. So uh, I'm actually not gonna risk it. Okay, never mind. He's willing to accept us. Uh, let's just go do it. I think I prefer the annulment of treaty still. So. And this, again, doesn't exile my units. And now the uh, scorching thing doesn't work anymore. Because we're no longer the controller. So he can just kill my dudes now, unfortunately. Yeah, kind of sad. How is your individual war score against Ethiopia? 91. Yeah, they'll peace out soon. Okay, now it exiles my units. Great. Hmm. Well then, guess we have a job for you. You're gonna sit right there. And then we'll unexile them here and try and see if the exploit still works. And then we can march straight into Thais. Which, not sure how that's gonna go, but we'll see. We'll just check if it still works. Nah, it doesn't exile the battle, no. Uh, and these guys can just go into my home turf and move them around normally. Uh, yeah, so we're just dealing with Damat and Ethiopia. I guess we could try and win the war on this side. Also, it did exile the Yemen Indians, so they'll be waking their way home. Uh, yeah, we could try winning the war on this side. First.
It's again very expensive joke though. I mean, it's gonna take a really long time. I guess if we stack up Ethiopia, they won't be able to rebuild the army. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna build a bunch more units though. Can you still steal half a garrison with a sortie? Uh, pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure you can. Jewish Marines only no boats from when? Uh... Tomorrow. No, I, I think uh, tomorrow we're either gonna be playing as a Zimbabwe, or maybe... Maybe, 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 So I do want to play as Masha Pahit pretty badly. Uh, got a pretty cool campaign I want to do with those. But it feels a bit weird to have like uh, the Origins patch and then <laughs> go into Indonesia, which is... Well, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Alright, so Yemen's back around. Uh, let's see, and this unit will need to march all the way over there. It's gonna take a really long time for him to get there. What to do in Majid Uh There's not necessarily something new with Majid Pahit, but there's something new with something else that really synchronizes very well with Majid Pahit. Um, when will you enter this? 8th of February. Uh, 4, 5, and 3. So I will be able to scorch that. Unless it lies to me, but it's not doing that so far. He's already moving locks, so we can already move in. Okay, that bought me one day, which is just about enough to make sure that we don't get insta-wiped. I, I just needed the Marie one, uh, so it was just a matter of uh, speed fiving until I got to the end of that. I do have 54 armor tradition, so we should be able to get something better than a 131. So. Hindu Buddhist thing to grab all the monuments? No, 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 no. None of that. None of that. Baniak LOL. Alright, let's see. Oh, wow, okay, that's gonna be very useful in uh, Yemen, but I think I want another one. What about Hergart? Hergart 1. Uh, they're getting a lot of pips, but they're just not in the right places. Um, you no know, one, one more. I don't really want to spend my mill on this, but I think we're gonna do one more. Yeah, they're very good at walking around. Alright, let's see. Um, anybody else want a leader? Turn the lights on. Thank you, MET, but... Svetterka, let's go, buddy. Svetterka. Okay. I... Uh, at this point, we may as well get the five so that we can, uh, so that we can slack on recruitment standards. Canary Boy 64. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Alright, well, like I said, we may as well get the five now. My nobility is gonna be super influential, but that's okay. Merc Mork. Merc Mork. Okay. Well, it is what it... Actually, this was planned because now we get to walk in there a lot faster. Uh, <laughs> now we get to walk in there a lot faster, so this actually buffed out perfectly. I, I meant to do it like this. I, I, in fact, uh, it's gonna be a stack wipe now because that army- no, it, it won't. <laughs> All plans. There's no mistakes here. Only happy little accidents. Alright. Uh, let me go merge all of this together. I really want to check if that exploit still works, but I, I really do think that first we need to go deal with this shit. Nice stability influence, yeah, it's uh... It's up there. 
Okay, so he's locked into going to a sob. Let's make sure we're properly attached here. And I'm actually getting a lot of manpower from all of this uh, stuff. Should be a wipe. Yeah, there we go. Also, I'm pretty sure th this is different, right? The way it's uh, it shows the casualties. There's like commas here now. At least I don't know if that's if that's true or not, but it looks different. Hold on, let's see. It, it, is that just me, or am I crazy? That, that's different, right? Were those commas there before? Because that... I, I remember playing this off screen and looking at that. I was like, wait, what? Okay, it is new. Commas. Yes. Commas. <laughs> Specific much. Well, I mean, I, you, you just noticed that because the everything is different from what it used to be. I mean, the, everything that's different from what it is, you're gonna notice. So, unfortunately, uh, we already have the paratroopers there, but because we wanted to wrap up the war first, and now I don't think they're gonna peace out. I don't know. I don't know how happy he is about the war still. Uh, we can go check how close they are to peacing out. So, Ethiopia is on medium, and this guy's on medium as well. So Ethiopia is willing to give, or is willing to, wants to take 95, and Adal is willing to give, uh, yeah, I, I just need their enthusiasm to, uh, to sync up, and then they'll peace out. So right now they can peace out. Peace out! Peace, 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 peace. Peace, peace. Please? Please, peace. I just need peace. I can't take too much war score. If I take RC, then I'm gonna start to get ticking, and then they won't peace out, and they'll have to give a doll land, and I don't want to do that. So. At the same time, I don't want to let him unsiege his stuff. That's kind of bad. Uh, I guess if we have the time, we could flip into the tech cost reduction real quick. Yeah, we'll flip into the tech cost reduction real quick, because I don't have any uh, stuff here. And if we can start to tech up now a little bit, then we could also build... Yeah, they pieced out! Alright, good, 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 good. Yeah, 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 okay. So now I don't have to give Adal anything. In fact, we can probably vassalize him in the future and retake all of this land. So that's pretty good. Yeah, we could go occupy the war mill now, but it does mean that we'll have to siege down Harar before we can move on. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to check our paratrop dropping trick here. I'm just gonna try piecing out Yemen as soon as possible, and it shouldn't be too difficult right right now. Can you diplomatize? I don't think so. We're not that big. No, no. So I'm still very much a, a tribe. Oh, sorry, um, duchy. So. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, let's head over here, Masawa. You need to be a kingdom. I don't need to be a kingdom, but the difference in government rank is uh, gonna be a big malice. So he, he's still quite big. He's, like, he's got... How much is that? Like, uh, 19 development? Yeah. All right, sweet. Uh, okay, hold on. Cool, 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 cool. Imagine using football fields per eagle droppings to measure your penis length. I, I don't. What? <laughs> I, I think I, I think I missed the first part of that. Uh, feedback so far. Uh, the, the thing about feedback is that I can't review the game until uh, Thursday, so if I start to get feedback, then I'm afraid that's gonna turn into a review, so... Uh, I don't wanna, like, break my embargo or anything like that, if you don't mind. Alright, sweet. Yemen's now back up to 25. I can't really uh, stop that in any way. 
Unless we really do walk all the way across the... The desert. But we can just occupy every province over here. So if we could just take out the Ethiopian troops, then I'll try and march across the desert, I suppose. I mean, these guys are still here, ready to do that little operation, so... Also, I've only been playing with it for uh, three days, so it'd be hard to give a really good... I, I always find it very difficult, but... Hey, can you just... Shoot. Yeah, we needed to walk through the Jura to occupy the rest. And uh, Yemen finally decided to get his ass together and walk into my terrain. Please stop running from me, Ethiopia. I only want to be friends. Ethiopia? Please stop running. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of bug fixes, performance fixes, and uh, okay, my third army is moving too quickly. Can we attach it to that and still save you? Yes. Okay, that's good. At least this will delay the Yemen Indians. I don't know if it's gonna delay them for long enough. Okay. So he's been killing a lot of my guys, which is very unfortunate. It seems like once again we'll have to try and march over there. And I'm just gonna try. Wait, hold on. I was over the force on it? Apparently. I'm not gonna add more dudes then. Um, Yemen's actually at war, so we can probably piece him out soon. Wait, what? But your capital's being besieged. <gasps> you don't care? Negative seven. Why does he not care? Okay, well that's interesting. Did auto conquer Mamluks already? Should be fast on this patch. Uh, no. It's uh, seventy. Wait, what do you mean should be faster? How would it be faster? Because they have that new wonder now, or like what? <laughs> Well, the thing is, it was sloppy, because we can't walk across the street, so there's no way to end it. Unless uh, Yemen wants to peace out, so... The only thing I can do now is walk across the street, but that uh, would take a really long time, unless we fully killed all of the Ethiopian troops. But we've done that now. We can get both of our things. I would like to see uh, if the exploits still work, so we'll try and do that. Called something sloppy, you broke a Mario. Wait, what? <laughs> that wasn't me. Alright, let's see. Could you walk across, please? Can we catch him? Yes, we can. Alright, cool. No, 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 no. Don't be doing this. Yeah, he's actually gotten occupied. We might actually have a chance of him... Like, if he loses enough land, we might actually be able to vassalize him later. But I do want him to annoy his treaties with Ethiopia. Fighting this straight crossing is not something I really want to do. I can't take this province either, because... Uh, it's Wait, hold on. I might actually be allowed to do that. Uh, Probably not, actually. Because of the occupation thing, but uh, that probably won't work. What I'm more concerned about is to see if the thing works. Still works. Oh, and Ron con conquers that. Yeah, they have a, they've got a monument now. Quite a useful one too, if you're playing in the HRE. Alright. Do you head over here? Intercept that guy? I actually don't care. Just sit there. I would like to go on siege my land before it actually gets their independence, thank you very much. Yeah, just wait for these guys to pop in. Although I don't want them to like walk away, but... Okay, attached to my third army, and uh, let's see. What is the Ulm one there? Uh, it gives Imperial Authority from Free Cities bonus. Uh, plus 20% Imperial Authority from Free Cities. And there's a wonder in Prague, but you need Prague to be Catholic before you take it. Otherwise, the wonder gets deleted. Which I'm pretty sure is not working as intended, so... 
I can't imagine that is how it works, but I, I don't know. Uh, it's the same with the Varanasi wonder. It gets deleted if you're not Hindu when you take it. Right, let's head over to the north and see if my power dropping still works. So... See, we're not allowed to walk here, right? But this guy is gonna unexile himself here, and then he's gonna march back there. And then these will attach to the army, and we'll see if that works. If he starts the move, then we already know that it works. Woo! Okay, that exploit still definitely works. Let's see. Because they might stop moving once they enter the fort. No, 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 it works. It just works. Yeah, yeah, okay, it just works. Okay, good. So, you'll want to get a boat then. Because it, it's harder to get exiled units now, but... Uh, getting mill access or fleet basing through someone... Like, we would be able to get fleet basing through this guy, put a boat in there, and then... You, if you get fleet basing but not mill access, it will exile your units, and then you'll have yourself some paratroopers if you need it. Um, and you could do that at peace, at war, whatever. Alright, so I wanted you to annoy your teachers with Ethiopia. And that's pretty much it that I want from you. And now we've got 80% on him, so all we gotta do now is just siege down his capital and then be on our merry way. Now, Ethiopia will spit out uh, a loja here, so let's see what we're gonna take. Uh, I want my claims. Mm hmm. Um. Hmm. Yeah, no, just give me my claims. And a coastline. And your money. I know what cares. Yeah, seems good. Although this will put me in odds with a doll, but I don't really care. This land doesn't matter. I guess we could just take these two, it's fine. Although, I would get a uh, better discount on them later. Also, can you just give me this? Yeah, this is fine. We'll do that. Paul Next D, thank you for some Prime Gaming Man, Tip Matter to you, sir, and Sagan Felix. Thank you so much for 12 months in a row. Tip matter to you, sir. Got a vassal for the mission? I was looking to vassalize a doll or maybe Yemen, but. Or potentially a loja. Although I will have to fight Dongola for that. Who's allied with Najran. Uh, let me just go build up a spine network on you. And then we can build up a spine network on this guy. And then we can kill both. That seems fine. Uh, but first and foremost we need to walk all the way back. And go deal with this. Also how is our faith power? Yeah we gain 2.3 each month. Now we're going to get something different. Now we're going to get legitimacy. Uh... More strength of air and government reform progress. Get a border with Washington to expand south. I, I would like to get down here to eat. Oh, have you finished this? No, he hasn't. He hasn't uh, fixed the city. Peace the orange country. The orange country is a vassal of Ethiopia, so I can't do that. Can't do that at this point in time. Yeah, air strength. I don't know. They seem to really like air strength, but I really don't need it, right? Because... By the time this dude is 15, the air strength will be 100, right? Um, pretty sure. That might not be like 100, but it's, it's just legitimacy. I don't really, really care too much about that. Did they nerf air strength increase? Oh, they did nerf the air strength increase. All right. Yeah, it grows by 0.25 each month. I don't know how big his air strength is going to be by the time he takes the throne, but... Right, focus needs to go on admin, because I want uh, religious ideas. Really badly. Religious and admin. Um, but I think religious first, because... We really do not like heathens here. We have... Uh... Okay, this is still broken. Very nice. Uh, we, we have... Um... Negative 4.5 or negative 5 tolerance of heathens? It's actually not that bad now. Wait, did it also remove... It was bigger before. Huh? 
Schumer1312, thank you for subbing for 52 months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, sir. Um, what am I missing here? I removed the. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's negative two in, in this thing as well. Yeah, but I can't use that because we've already fully converted everything. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, well, that's fine. So I actually have call for pizza, but I still can't demand any of his lap, right? Like, he wouldn't give that to me. Yeah, let me get this guy back. No, he would. Ah, oh, of course, I got Gondor occupied. Never mind. I could just peace out. Shut. Uh, yeah, no, this is good. Uh, I'm hoping this will allow me to finish the mission immediately. No, I actually just need to stay to five, five things. All right, well, whatever. Um, what would I, so I don't need, I shouldn't core everything. No, just core everything, it's fine. Yeah. All right, seems good. Um, and if we take a look at the AE map modes. So now Ethiopia is yellow, which means they have more than 50. The relations are negative, but they're not part of a coalition because we have a tree. I don't know if they're gonna change color again if he's eligible to join the coalition. So right now he is yellow. Countries that have that we have a Eon will get dark green. And the more dark green they have, the more AE they have. So over here we have Hormuz, he's sitting on negative 16. Concentrate for the estate mission. Ah, uh, yeah, that's actually a fair point. We should probably do that. Try and see if we can do that anyway, actually. I don't think we can, but we'll have to take a look. I probably can do it on horror, actually. So, let's see. Uh, I could do it over here. Which was over... Yeah, it was in horror. I can't do it anywhere else. And I don't want to buy down more exhaustion, that's not point efficient at all. Uh, so I didn't actually get enough. I'm just gonna do it one more time. Just to be done with that. And <laughs> we, we're gonna get an aristocratic coup, unless I can get my nobles to be happy somehow. Uh, number of allies at least three. Alright, we can do that. And then we can seize our crown landing in. Uh, well we can, but... That's not something we want to do. So let's see, Miklov or Aden? I don't want to ally Aden, so I guess I'll just ally Miklov. I might be able to diplomatically vassalize those. Uh, we don't really have too much economic base though, so. Right, well if I seize land now, because the equilibrium's below 100. If I seize la land now, we might actually get in trouble. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's see. Bring on that aristocratic coup. I want my crown land. Oh, sweet. We have enough uh, gold to get the wealth of Africa thing. I may as well just grab this. There's no real downside to doing that. Yeah, it's a shame there's no, like, uh, button over here for this. Oh, also, we've occupied that so we can now fabricate on um, this dude. Who's now also fighting Ethiopia. In what war? Actually, everyone and their mother is fighting Ethiopia, actually. Are those all separate wars? Yeah, they are. Wait, are they both reconquest? Oh, they are. Huh. Okay. Ew, allies. I'm just getting them for the mission. I'm not actually using them. Sifflation's kind of ass, though. Can I... I'd like to get a level 2 advisor, but... Okay. So six years away from grabbing this. Uh, no, 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 no. I am definitely getting a missionary strength guy. We have to get that. So we can fabricate on you. Um, and he is allied with Najran, which is not a big deal. So I'm just gonna go fight that in between. Let's go pay for our tips. What are the churches called? Did they change it for Jewish? Yeah, they're called synagogues. I don't know what the main church is called, so synagogue and great synagogue. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so they're at war with the- I'm just gonna fight both of them, because they're- you're not yoinking my land, okay? Here, let's get you out of the way. No, 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 we're not doing any of that. 
Have you ever done runs where you use console to give the biggest nation a massive amount of gold to build themselves huge and then contest it? I just finished a really fun run like that today. Um, uh, no, no, I haven't. I, I, I don't want to use console. Um, you know, what's to stop me from in between streams giving myself a thousand ducats? <laughs> no, that's. I, I don't know. I just. I don't know. I don't really see the point uh, of doing that. I guess you could maybe add like Gen Main or something like that. But. Uh, they're all offensive war, so we can't really uh, use this to reset our Tooth with Ethiopia. Although, uh, the Tooth with the latest should be almost over. 81. Yeah, it's five years from now. There's nothing else that we can really fight to make him... Uh, to get into a war with Ethiopia faster. In fact, he's lost all of his alliances now, so... Why bother with using space and a thousand and not just getting the whole 5k? What? What? Yes. Um, innovativeness, we have a full year before we need to grab it, so we can afford to wait. Uh, wait, a full year? When did you get it? Okay, in September. Right. Yeah, we'll just go hunt after you, and I'd like uh, a siege guy over here. Also, we... Yeah, we can get cannons. I'd, I'd like to get a couple, because it's all very expensive. Now, I kind of just want to, like, take this and pillage him for the, uh... Oh, no, we can't. I'm not allowed to do that. Um... I, I'd need to occupy the province first, but even if I did, it's in the same state, so then I wouldn't be allowed to take with Bayuta, and then he'd still be able to reconquer his land, which is not something we want. So I think I'll just, uh, fully occupy him, it's fine. In fact, I'm not so sure if I want to fast. Uh, no, no, no. We, we definitely want to fastlize uh, Elogia, actually. Yeah. Could you not? Okay, I'll, I'll walk into that thing first. So, is there anything we could statify? I was kind of hoping there was something we could statify, but I guess not. Merchant sleeping. I can't use him because... Uh, actually, now I can, probably. Hold on. Yeah. Alright. But yeah, I couldn't use him before. Um, okay, seriously? Give me mill access. Okay. Uh, this is mountains, but I'm sick and tired of Dongola being Dongola. I just want him out of here. Now, can I now statify some more things? There we go. And will that allow me to click the button? It does. Great. So now we got permaclaims on all of the Horn of Africa. Very nice. It's not permaclaims, it's just normal ones, but still, that's uh, pretty sweet. Uh, because we declared a conquest war here, now we can take everything without needing to pay uh, any dip or anything like that. And I'll also get a pretty sweet discount. Also, we can just fight straight into Elogia now. Yep. Let's do it. Not even permaclaims? Well, I'm pretty sure Ethiopia would get permaclaims, but we don't. Okay, this attaching crap is, uh... I'm gonna want to fix that around a little bit. Also, Najran's actually walked all the way over with their capital forts. AIs delete a lot of forts now if they don't have money for them, which is beautiful. And they'll also delete forts if they don't uh, think the forts are necessary. I've seen AIs delete a lot of forts. Uh, which is kind of good. Because, you know, they'll keep forts at all costs. Even if they uh, go bankrupt by keeping them. Which is pretty damn bad. But uh, now they actually delete some of them from time to time. So he will eventually delete this fort. I can guarantee you that. Uh, I don't know how quickly they, like, realize that they're supposed to do that, but... Uh, we should go grab this and get some cannons. It's gonna save me a lot of resources. Uh, I think I'll just get, like, f two? For now? Maybe four later, but... I'm not gonna go over force them, or delete any troops for that. 
Who is surprised that the attaching system was not fixed? I don't think the attaching system can be fixed. I don't think it's possible. I, I would like to get that missionary strength guy. Uh, let's wait for him to enter Al Qadari. Yeah, I I I'm gonna kill this guy, I think. Or maybe we should let him win. I don't know. Hmm. Because, I mean, if he wins, Ethiopia will be slightly smaller, but I think Ethiopia is going to be... Yeah, Ethiopia is 100 percentable anyway, so I'm just going to eat all of them. Uh, what about you? No, I'm still allied to him. Uh, let's dissolve that. I don't care about allies. In fact, who is my other ally? Uh... Mikloff. No, 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 I don't want an alliance with you. Although that would have allowed me to walk across the strait. Actually, uh, Mikloff, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. It was a joke. Uh, if I'm allied to him and I declare war whilst over here, then... Uh, my units won't get exiled. So that's actually really sexy and I want to... I, I, I'm gonna ask for his forgiveness. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I really didn't. Why is my advisor George Soros? Uh, he's not, he's uh, Gusho Uba. Um, and I will want to vassalize Yemen here. When's my truce with them? Oh, it should be really close, right? Yeah, yeah, three years. Three years. <coughs> so Yemen's definitely the next one that we fight. He's allied to Hadramut and Ajaran. Ajaran is going to be kind of iffy to deal with. Uh, I think we'll be okay. So we're all going to be fine. Uh, Aluja. Okay, we can't peace you out before peacing out Dongola. And we can't peace out Dongola before Najran wants to leave. So I guess I'll get a dude to walk over to Nashron. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, we don't need to pay for him completely. We you tried to form the USA so you could take 6% of their budget. Uh, no, I don't think I'll do that. Thank you very much. God damn it, my units got stuck with. Royal marriage with Miklav allowed? Oh yeah, totally. I can also re-ally them. But yeah, they were hiding in the desert for us. I swear, if we can't walk across the sea... We can't do shit. Okay. Um... Here, let me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe if I just stack my... No, that's actually Dongola. Wait, yeah, I shouldn't be allowed to do this, right? Oh, no, I am. Okay, well, in that case, I'll actually just piece him out. Because uh, this this way we get a year's worth of manpower. And it doesn't matter how big he is. The only thing that matters is how big we are. So, yeah, I'll take it. Shit. I'm not going to keep these OPMs around. Just to be able to dial them for manpower. Like, if you had 10 OPMs, you can get 10 years worth of manpower. Just like that. You just put them in a row. Uh, put them all on uh, warning. Or something like that, and uh, just tick, 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 tick. Even if they were to ally each other, it doesn't matter because you can just always pillage. Yes, we can have a manpower farm. A little clone factory, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's actually genuinely not a bad idea. Even if they ally each other, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get a bunch of OPMs sitting uh, here, yeah. Sure, let's do it. So, uh, yeah, pillage capital. Doesn't cost me anything, it's gonna give me uh, all my manpower back. I could all just, just kill him, but... <laughs> no, let's, let's set it up, let's make the clone factory. I'm gonna pillage you, yeah, sure. Oh, this is evil, isn't it? This is very evil. This is wrong on so many different levels. Uh, yoink. Of course, I did spend more manpower on this war than it got me, but that's okay. We, at, as long as we set it up properly later, we'll be good to go. Uh, we can set some new rivals. Ajiran will be my rival. Adam will be my rival. I'm not going to rival the Mamluks because I want to be able to walk across. But I will be back in a bit, ladies and gentlemen. Alright.
actually, I just realized this syncs very nicely with uh, the thing that we already have. This syncs very nicely with our uh, Purim teaching. Each war one gives us point, uh, gives us ten faith power. This one gives more recovery speed and percentage faith power, which I don't think we want. This would give us two, uh, a five per siege, but that's not really necessary, or uh, that's less than winning the war is. Because if we, I, it, the way I envision it now is we get a bunch of OPMs, right? And every time we piece them out, we get a year worth of manpower, and we get faith power as well, so we can get money from them if we use the interest per annum thing. This will give me stab. This will give me 0.3 years of income. But... And what does this give me again? Golf cap. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna keep a later alive as well, for the same reason. And he's allied with Ogadine, which is fine. Uh, cause then we can pillage both. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's gonna be our first idea? Offensive? So we can do it faster? Will the stat one give you admin a, uh, 30? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, it, oh, it might. Oh, it might, we should go check that. Ooh. Mods are making me puke today. What's up, Illidan? Why are the mods making you puke? Yeah, we need to pick religious first, actually, because uh, we, we really don't like heathens. We got, like, negative four. So... Oh, uh, we should probably turn that thing back on. The missionary strength. Yeah. For even more negative tolerance of heathens. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we'll celebrate. Wait, if we want to celebrate now, we get golf... Uh, shit. Alright, let's test it. So I'll switch over to the National Armrest guy. Apparently we're too nice. Permission, permission to uh, uh, oppress the plebs. What are you being too nice about? Yeah, if uh, people start making like uh, edgy jokes or something, then you should probably time... I don't know. You should probably time them out. Like, uh, there's, a, there's a limit to how much uh, like freaking... At the tenth time, the U.S. Uh, U.S. Israel thing isn't 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 funny anymore. Well, I mean, if it ever was, I suppose. But not 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 my cup of tea, personally. But all right, let's see. Uh, Asab moving into this. All right, let's go. All I heard was a plash to plebs. Oh. You have a sword for a reason. I I trust you. All right, cool. Um, mm -hmm. There we go. So, we're just waiting for a truce, right? With Yemen? Yeah, and I'll, we'll want to vassalize him. And that will allow me to finish that mission. Although I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use this mission later. But we'll use it now just to get out of this horrific negative... Uh, negative religious unity. Oh, they were just being che cheesy against each other. Okay, well then it's fine. Then it's fine. I just want everybody to feel welcome here, you know? Just a nice... N nice... Uh, you know, I like to think of it as like a... You know, a... Uh, what do you call it? A YMCA! That's, <laughs> that's what I want my chat to be! <laughs> I couldn't figure out the word, but uh, that's the one I want to be. Alright, cool. Uh, I think we're just gonna stomp all the rebels, because they'll, they'll, sp they'll spawn eventually. I can't statify anything anymore. Is that because I'm over golf cap? Or... I I've got two territories, but I guess we never finished the core there, so... Um, nice welcoming mod dictatorship. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I wonder where my dude is gonna come of age. Am I actually over the max manpower? Uh, oh, does it let me go over the max with that? I don't know. Got another Ethiopia rebellion that I want to take care of. How's the update so far? So I think I can review the update, but the update so far is uh, fucking amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I really, I really like the bug fixes and everything. So, good times. 
Um, Ethiopia, let me go provoke that. Oh, okay. I thought they were gonna spawn here, but I guess not. <laughs> I'll take it though. Uh, Harer is gonna spawn on top of the fort, so we can always just spawn that. Embargo broken. I, I doubt I doubt they would mind. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll do a review on Thursday of the origins and all of that. So stick around for that if you want to get a review before uh, you know jumping right on in. Does the game run any better? It feels like it, but I can't tell because most of the lag would happen later. But uh, yeah, no, I, I've not encountered any stutter or lag, so. But that's inconclusive, right? So I don't want to like, tell you something that's then not correct. So you know, because I I never really had any lag in the early game anyway. Because uh, thanks to you guys, we have a beast of a machine. So you know, uh, I also overclocked it. But that was for the uh, Ryukyu, Ryukyu in a day run. Which, if, you know, if uh, late game lag is also gone, then we could give that another shot. I remember us testing uh, how fast it would run, and it was running at like, I don't know, what was it, like a second a month or something? At the game start? With all of our things enabled? Nah, that can't be right. I think it was a minute a year, right? Was that right? A minute a year? I think that was correct. At speed 5. So I guess we could, if we really wanted to, we could uh, do, do a little benchmark. Or something like that. I'm pretty sure it was a bit. Oh, yes! Bar mit Wait, what? Bar Mitzvah? Oh, yeah, he just turned to. 13. Yeah, yeah, we'll spend- Oh god, that's expensive! Alright, it's based on your income. Hmm... I mean, you are really good. He, he does well with his studies, we should reward him. Here you go. <laughs> This was a generated message. <laughs> Alright, we could. Can you please just uh, spawn here? Also, when was my next uh, war going to be? Yemen, right? And how's this doing? Uh, it's progressing. It's there. Are you going to abdicate ASAP? I don't need to abdicate. This is a Regency Council. We have uh, Miriam Rumlet. Hunting accident imminent. No, no, we can't have a hunting accident. This one guy will take over the throne unless he falls ill, which is the only thing that can really happen. Can you please just spawn? Come on. Oh, he's probably gonna spawn in Kaffa now, so we should stay there. Yeah, I'm constantly at max map bar. It's very sexy. Uh, I've got two cannons. I'll build a couple of extra. And maybe some infantry as well. Can we afford this? Yeah, it seems so. Why can't you have a hunting accent? Because a 12 year old can't go out hunting. Uh, they can't go hunting until they're 15, pretty sure. Can you imagine a 2 year old hunting? I mean, I guess if someone was with them, but then... The accent wouldn't really be an accent, right? It would just be... Uh, inf inf in in infanticide? Alright, cool. Uh, wait, did they make these bigger too? It's funny that these small di difference. Did they make that bigger? Pretty sure they made that bigger, right? I don't know. Now I'm starting to doubt everything. Alright, cool. First idea, religious, hands down. Mickey says 15, yes. Ah, there you go. Yeah, so the two with the late is over. We could go fight them from manpower. Uh, also, how's this doing? Yeah, we almost have enough. Alright, let's go fight. And we'll get some faith power and manpower and money, I guess. Alright, uh, leave the cans behind and we'll have the rest walk over to this. Oh, we can, unless we can get no access to- Oh, fuck a duck and the cock. So... We'll have to march all the way around, that's fine. 
Uh, I'm gonna leave the these over here. Because it's too dangerous. Are there any new Jewish problems? It's similar to how Leviathan added... What? There's a Jewish province in India? What? What? Oh, Zoroastrian! Oh, uh, not that I'm aware of, there might be more things that spawn Jews because uh, Ethiopia will instantly convert Zambia and Simeon after beating the rebellion. That's it. That's all they need to do. They need to defeat the rebellion and then they'll spawn the Jews. So... Uh, I hope so. Also, I'd like to def push uh, this place a little bit. Let's go encourage the development there. And dev that a little bit. Because I do want more of that stuff. The Zoro province doesn't change much. Both of them disappear within 40 years anyway. No, 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 no. The Zoro one doesn't change. No, 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 no. The Zoro one doesn't disappear. The Zoro one doesn't disappear at all. The, the Zoro one probably is going to stay there until 1821. Because uh, they, they, if they pick the Dimi thing, then they'll never convert that province. So... No, no, no. The Zoro one doesn't change. How can you get 3k map bar from the peace deal? I'll show you in a sec. Okay, they did ask access, as they always do, once you get to the position. Oh, the Indian one will vanish. Yeah, 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 that's true. The Indian one does vanish, so they don't pick that. I mean, does it really vanish? Is it like in control of a Hindu, or...? Do I know the AI wait for each option for the event? No, I don't. I could go look it up in the files, but I don't know how to read those, so... That would take some time. I don't- I don't speak code. I- I'll, I'll look at it, I'll think I know what it means, and then it'll mean the exact opposite. Alright, let's stop paying for our army, because we really don't need to. And I would like to add a leader onto this dude, Baniak Lore. And we have Kalop the First Asami to rule our nation! Which apparently makes us lose the alliance with Adal. Uh, I don't really care, but I want to get my alliance back with this guy. I keep forgetting. So I choose with Yemen's now over, but uh, before we get to that, I don't know. Can we get mill access to you? No, we can't. Hmm. But we'll want to deal with uh, Ajuran first anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, cool, and he's a silver-tongued guy as well. Very nice. And Aloja got all his land back, and we'll steal that from him once the truce runs out. Yeah, I'm thinking we could probably also get rid of the uh, Merc Company here. Yeah, I will, because we're going to farm manpower the old-fashioned... Uh, the new-fashioned way. By, uh, you know, winning these wars. Seems like a good idea. Mods got to unionize? Oh boy. Oh boy, what what's happening? Is this uh, is this a revolt? Inflation less than fire. This one's always really powerful. We might be able to use that at one point, although it is growing really quick. Uh, getting rid of that would be very nice. But first, I want to get to this divine supremacy crap. And these simian ideas are just so nice. Look at this: tolerance of heathens, core creation cost. Uh, we get morale of armies, then we get fort maintenance, aggressive expansion impact reduction, dev cost reduction, legitimacy, advisor cost reduction, institution spread, and national manpower at the end. Very sexy. And those things all scale with manpower modifiers too. So this... Uh, originally I thought this was going to be very iffy because of the incredible influence that it gives, but it's very useful. It's just a shame that we pick this as well. Alright, cool. So, let's go peace you out. Now, I want you to annoy a with Ajuran. And we're gonna pillage you. Which costs zero war score too. Guess we take money, but that's not really worth my time. Let's do it! Boom. Manpower. Now, we're at our... Let's see. 225500, which is 600 manpower. Is less than what we could get. Still, zero at... Um, Zero E, and we can also demand some money, I suppose. 
So, also we're at 200 faith power, so let's celebrate. This will give me 10 faith power as well. Wait, what? Nah, I needed to wait a day. So it does allow you to go over the limit. Yeah, okay. Interesting. So, uh, definitely time to go fight Yemen now. Uh, I'll just uh, Blitzkrieg him and then we'll head over to Asheron. This music isn't very fitting, is it? Whoo! Uh, you have to abdicate. This is a republic now. Really? But there's no one to rule the country. Or are the mods going to create a mod regency? Uh, we are the leading producers. Uh, well, really? Well, I guess I'll just click this. Should probably save that for global trade, but. You can always pick an air from chat. Uh, do we even get to rename it if I click this? Pretty sure you need to have a baby to be able to rename it. Alright, well, uh, let's declare war for Hamazine. I will want to fastlice this guy, because. reasons. He's got uh, cores and all of this, so it'd be very cool to get this. Yeah, Yemen kind of migrated away from uh, Yemen itself, which is very useful for us, because that's a lot of AE that we can dodge, basically. I'm not so sure if we should... Uh, I'm just going to siege this down. And hopefully walk past the Ajaran Indian troops. It'll be a while before we can actually walk to him, I'm sure. Uh, let me just go take a look at the mill access. Okay, so he, he won't walk like this. We can't get mill access through this, so I'll have to wait. That's fine. Do we know the values? No. I don't know the values. What is my thought on chicken tonight? Nah, I could go for some chicken. Nah, uh, I think I'm gonna order a capsule on though. Which uh, I should maybe start to do. I'm getting a little hungry. All right, cool. Uh, I did, uh, I'll get the free war taxes. Save some money. It's very effective for us because we're not using mercenaries now, because we're getting all the manpower from piecing out. And we do have Yemen fully occupied, but I still can't walk across, which is kind of annoying. And we don't have a name. Okay, now he's going to give me more access. And this guy. Unfortunately, Warsingali is killing Ogadin. Oh, you mean, you mean the dish chicken tonight? I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing. Is that the, that's a fake chicken, right? Is that actual chicken? Easy chicken tonight. Perfect. Yeah, it's fake chicken. I've, ne I've never actually tried it. Never actually tried that. I eat fake chicken all the time, but I don't eat, uh, I, I've not eaten chicken tonight yet. Sorry. I think they have a very cool commercial though. Can we listen to some Hava Nagila? Uh, we can listen to some Hava Nagila when we're fighting the Mamluks, how about that? Uh, what's our second idea gonna be? So I could pick quantity, and then we will be able to do it today. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just do that. I'll pick quantity. Because it syncs nicely with our manpower uh, crap. Is delivery expensive in the Netherlands? Uh, no, not really. I, I don't know. It's not particularly expensive, I suppose. It depends on what you get. So, let's see. Can we troll anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Ajran's leaving. Probably be able to stack with this real quick. Uh, actually, I don't know. We don't have that much time. Crap. I blame the rolls. Okay. 
I was actually pretty close. An anonymous gifter, thank you for gifting a, a tier one sub to summon Hydro and tip matter to you, sir. Alright, let's just head over to Ajaran now and uh, wrap up this war. This should be able to get a lot of money here. Uh, he's allied to Yemen, Mombasa, and Warsangali. I'd like him to lose uh, Warsangali as an alliance, because I'll want to fight those as well soon. Daron Sock, and thank you for some of Prime Gaming, man. Tip matter to you, sir. Would it be ex expensive to deliver myself in a box there? Oh yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be nigh unaffordable. I I don't think you should try to do that. No, no, no. I'd 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 I'd, I'd love to have you delivered to my house in a box, but uh, it's probably not very min max of you. All right, let's see. Ban me? What did I do? Let's take the train. Well, you can do that. I extra missionary. Don't mind if I do. Uh, hey, hello? Gunter? Ban the mods? I'm not gonna ban the mods. Sorry. Mods are love, life, and the meaning of it. I'm, I'm not gonna ban my mods. Sweet. Now these helmets. I think these helmets are very interesting. They kind of look like uh, British World War One helmets, you know. I quite like these helmets. That's what they remind me of, anyway. Or a uh, crossbowman in Age of Empires too. I wonder what the story behind those helmets is. Um, <laughs> Ajaran's not going to be willing to sign peace. Also, this dude keeps building an army and he's got 6k right there. Is that a merc company? No, that's an actual army. All right. Let's go split up these cannons so he stops like building a massive army all the time. This is really kind of ass now. There's no other way to end this quick. Mend the schism between the child and mods. Please be nice! Speech 100. Speech 100. Please be nice. Please be nice. And now kiss. There you go. <laughs> Chattel Express is modest. <laughs> you can never really tell what the issue is when you start talking about my mods. Okay, yeah, I'm getting a Corona solve is fine. There's no way that's gonna bite me in the bite me in the ass in the future. Uh, could you bring over that cannon, please? And yeah, my entire country's on fire. This really sucks. And I need to bring Baniak Lol over as well. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Mods are nice, we just like to mess with them. Hmm. Sometimes I don't know. All right, Ajaran, we have how much force going you? 35. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get more. I don't think I need to actually siege this down. So what I wanted from you was an annulment of treaties with uh, Warsangali. I want your money, and I want the war rep. Can you give that to me? Yeah, it's not worth waiting another five months for. So. All right, cool. So we can finally. Oh, it's gonna exile units. Yeah. So I can finally go liberate my crap and uh, deal with this. Oh, he's gonna spit out Dongola. Uh, no he's not. You can deal with that, that's fine. Yeah, may as well start to catch back up on tech, there's no point to wait. How's my faith power? 89, okay. When will you form Alpha Israel? Uh, just gonna uh, need to get... Quality ideas, I think, and then we can go for that. Hadramud actually had way more units than I thought he would, or at least he tried way harder, because he's got like four provinces and got 16,000 units. Like, what the hell? Well, more like 12, but that's beside the point. 
Also, Yemen's built up his entire military again. Oof. Should really build more forts. Like, up in Assab would be a good place for his fort. He's also preventing my uh, conversion from going through. Well, he's got zero now. And he needs to walk all the way back from Hadramut to do more damage to us now. Pretty close to hitting the point cap here. We can't exactly tech up. Uh, it's too expensive. So tech 8 you can get without getting... Um, I guess we could dev a little bit. I'm not going to get leaders because that's uh, going to give my nobility more influence. Which I still don't see a way of how we're going to fix that. And also, we're going to get to the third one and then I'm going to start getting rid of my inflation. Uh, Sagittarion, thank you so much for 13 months in man. Tip matter to you, sir. Why does the map look like a person? This looks like a person? Oh, you mean, why does the map... He means this map, I mean, I'm stupid. Yeah, it, uh, it, it's, it's part of the new patch. It's, um... <laughs> It's part of the new patch, there's a toggle, you can either look at the map or you can look at me. Wow, that, that took a long time for me to register that. Streamer map mode, there you go. <laughs> It'll start flashing when, uh, when, you, when you miss a siege at the uh, 90%. It'll start screaming, shouting. You know? To add, add to your immersion. Despair at the power of my clear communication. <laughs> well played, well played. You got me. Uh, I want to go take a look at my two sisters. So Adal's almost over. Dongle is also almost over. Uh, all of them are going to end in 88. I hope they stay alive. No, Makuria, you can't. No, stop. Oh my god. Shoot. That's bad. I really want to build a navy, but we have one port. I'm going to start building a galley fleet. Being able to walk across would be pretty swell. I already have 85%, so we can probably just piece him out now, yeah? No, he still has the... Oh, he's a fierce negotiator. Yeah, yeah well, that's very unfortunate. Um, and we can't walk across. I'd have to ask all the access all the way through the Mamluks, and if I do walk across, that's just gonna take more time than just waiting. So I want to take a look at my truce. Uh, next one will be Adal, 87. We do have claims on him. He's allied to Hadramut, Pate, and Beja. So then I won't need to um, fight Hadramut twice if we fight that before piecing out the other guy. We will need to fight... How many troops do you have? It says eight, but I don't know where. Hmm. Just gather up my dudes, split them in half, and we'll be uh, on them right away. Missed my sub SMH, so here's to make sure I paid it off for Femboy Con. Pizza Bros Real, thank you so much for eight months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, sir. <laughs> Of course, he's playing Simeon. Oh, he had a little vote at the start of the stream. Uh, between... Uh, <laughs> poor Congo, man. Poor Congo. <laughs> there was like 300 people that voted. Uh, and you voted with 70% or 60% for Simeon. Simeon into Israel. Uh, the rest of you voted for Mutapa. Uh, and none of you voted for Congo. Not a single person voted for Congo. It's just so sad. I actually felt bad for Congo. Poor Congo. Why did nobody vote Ottomans? Because well, it wasn't an option. They weren't on the voting list. Uh, Fishy Lee, thank you for someone for 18 months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, sir. Happy second, baby. 
Alright, uh, we have 85% armor tradition, and also, we can get professionalism, like, I'm gonna get manpower, so we don't need to use mercs. Alright, who wants, uh, oh shit. You voted for Congo but got an error message? Oh my god, scripted. I don't think it's possible to have zero vote. I think there might have been something wrong with the poll. That must have been. Like, well, zero vote. Someone must have accidentally clicked on the. Uh, on Congo, right? Implying that it would be an accident. But, you know, you know what I mean, right? There, there's no way it was zero. But, yeah, the, the poll results showed actually zero. Okay, we would accept vassalization now, but if we do that, then Hadramut's gonna join the Beja War. And then we have to deal with the same crap again, which I really oh, don't want back to the Lords! So, when I got this before, it kept firing, but now we've only had it twice. But yeah, sure. Anatotos23, thank you for something for 23 months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, sir. Mail-in votes? Oh, they just, had, they just took a little longer. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, how is my faith power? It's not quite high enough. Oh, we still need a, two more levels before we can get to... Uh, to see if the tier 3 gives me admin. I'm curious. I'm very curious. I hope it does. It would be pretty cool. Does Congo get anything except new uh, fetish mechanics? Uh, Congo gets a, a new mission tree, and it's a pretty cool one. Also, they get a whole mission tree about converting to Catholic, and getting a cardinal, and they have special missions that give them feudalism, so you don't have to, like, death for that. Uh, what else did they get? They got a bunch of uh, cool things. Claims last until when? Oh, they won't last very long, so we really need to get going here. In fact, it might, might have been better to pick Atman second, because we are keeping up with conversions. But, although, you know, getting that second missionary really does help as well, so. Uh, is it really worth it for me to wait another year? I guess it is. Also, we can get our miltech now, and I, I think I'll just... I think I'll just grab this. Because, like I said, I don't want to get, like, a million leaders, because this is kind of problematic, so. Yeah. Also, my PP's getting kind of low. Can we fix that? Uh, I guess I can send an insult over to Aden here. Let's go. But yeah, I don't know if there's like a way or if there's a different like if you can be Congo and just not go Catholic I don't know if there's like uh, content for that uh, Not entirely sure uh, it, w it was hard to tell from the mission tree uh, If you get this always pick this one It's 30 military Probably it's 30 mil points either 30 or 60 for 15 AT. That's an easy choice, right? Alright, so we can go deal with this thing before needing to go deal with the rest. Unfortunately, Dongola is getting shafted here. Or he did get slaughtered. I will want to revive them to set up our system properly. And yeah, give me that staff construction. There is stuff in the mission tree for staying fetishes. The tree swaps out missions. Okay, okay, but you gotta go through a different route or something. Mission tree changes depending on your religion for Congo. Same with some West African countries with Tuni fetishes. I saw the Songhai one where you can choose to be like super tolerant to the fetishists. And then Mercuria, if you don't give me mail access, I will dial your face. Because I'm not, you're harboring criminals here. It always bothers me when they do that. Royal court. Uh, did you take a look at some of the upcoming mechanics in CK3 Royal Court? I have not. I have not. I mean, I quite like CK3, but I don't know what's left to do in CK3. Um, I mean, I believe the last thing we do was Knights only, and then we did a couple of uh, Men at Arms only runs. Uh, I think it's quite nice to not use uh, levies. Uh, the Knights only one was a lot of micro though, so I don't really want to do that again. But yeah, I, I don't really know what to do in CK. Like. I don't think I'd ever want to, like, do a World Conquest in CK. That seems like... A lot of... A lot of... A lot of work, and not a lot of difficulty in doing so, either. 
Don't play to win. Yeah, no, that's right. But then you play for like a meme or something, but then we need to figure out what that meme is. Which is hard to do if we're not playing it. So, yeah, not so sure. But, uh, maybe we'll take a look at the new patch and the new Royal Courts shenanigans. I know CK, CK's three sieges are the best thing ever created. Best thing since sliced bread. So we need to hurry up with this war. Although he's already lost his lines with the Hadramut now, so we can just peace out, actually. Yeah, sure. Let's peace out, fast slice him, and get the money. Also give up your claims. And yeah, no, that's fine. And you can lose your core on a sob. That's good. Alright, so we've gotten ourselves a heathen vassal, and I can click this whenever I want. Uh, so I wonder, if I click this, right, and then go do that, to make him Jewish? Ah, uh, we need the positive opinion. I wonder if that's going to allow me to finish the mission. Yeah, I choose with the doll is now over, but he's already dying. Hmm. I might want to wait up with that. So we don't have a choice with Makuria. I would like him to spit out Dongolo. And we need to uh, cancel the more access if we're going to do that. How would I go about doing this, though? Also, I don't have a choice with you. I do have a raw marriage, though. Oh, uh, let's see. So... Yeah, no matter what, they're gonna border each other. Which is not what we wanted, but... I guess I'll just have to, uh, release them. Or, um... Yeah, but then I may as well just spit them out here. But then I can't core the land. So I guess I'll take it, core it, and then we'll spit them out like this. And then I'll just make sure they stay alive by burning them. And we'll have this guy stay alive there, that guy stay alive there. Although they will get eaten by the Mamluks. Do you have claims? Do you want this? Oh, he doesn't care. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I'll let him, actually I'll let him stay alive like this. No, we can't. I'll let him stay alive like this. And I'll have Dongle and Sobo over here and we'll just warn them. I have to remember to keep warning them. Otherwise, they're gonna kill each other. Can't have that. Out. Yeah, okay. Seems good. Alright, let's go get some manpower then. So, isn't that choose with Veleta over as well? No, no, that, that one's 91. Unfortunately, he kept killing those guys, which is kind of unfortunate. But yeah, we'll take Dongola, and yeah, yeah, seems good. So I really want to set up that system. Oh, we have enough uh, church power now to stab up. And I wonder what the next one does. It says game plus one stab. So I don't think I don't think it will give me um, admin. No, oh. gods no. Don't want to have anything to do with that. Oh, he's got some Sunni zealots there. Interesting. Also, probably gonna to want to break the world ties here. Oh, and now I'll have to wait a little bit longer to see if it gives me Avon. No. Well, it was either that or we couldn't doubt them, so. Yeah, and uh, we could safely fight this. Apparently, Adal does not want to join. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, so Mercuria, I don't want to like full annex him. I just want to take these two provinces and pillage him. That's it. And also annoy you with Shamar, because that's awkward. And end your rivalry, so you stay happy. Maybe. Actually, no, we can forget about the end rivalry. It's fine. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, 
Yeah, no matter what, they are gonna border each other, so... Alright, let's send him a warning. Oh, this exile from units. Right. Yeah, and the same applies to Beja. I just want Berber and, uh... That crap. Does the, the warning doesn't auto-renew, right? So we're gonna need to remember to re-warn them. Okay. How long does this last for? 20 years. Hmm. That's quite a bit of micro. Right, let's get these uh, mercs out of the way. And when's the two with the loja over? 91, okay. Uh, nice round. I think uh, Ethiopia is next up on the chopping block. Uh, we don't have a truce with Arden, but in order to get that, we first have to get no access to the Mamluks. And I still need to re ally these, so. Yeah, let's, uh, let's actually do that real quick. Because we've got nothing to do now. May as well. Yeah, okay. Make sure they're landlocked with you only as a neighbor instead of having to warn them a bit. Yeah, I, but there's no way to do that. Like, I can make sure these guys, no matter what, some of them are gonna border each other. Because of the way, because Dong, uh, what's this guy? Yeah, Dongala doesn't have a spot, except this one, so they'll always border each other. Yeah. Because either they border each other up here, or they border each other down here. So. I wish the siege would finish, though. What is the benefit of sending a warning? Uh, that way they won't kill each other. So that is the benefit. Alright, give me that. Uh, hold on. Give me that. And then... Uh, pillage. What? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, well, we'll leave them alive like this. Yeah, so I'll just have these three... Ah! Isn't that, like, really awkward? Yeah, no, that's really awkward. So I'll just pillage him the second time, then. That's fine. Why am I keeping them alive? Because every time I piece someone out, I get a year's worth of manpower. And 10 faith power. Which we can use to stab up. So it's, it's really quite sexy. Uh, yeah, we're gonna march over to Mikloff and I'll have to ally him real quick. What? Bullshit. Oh, that's actually really bad. Because... Oh... Uh, no. Okay, we'll have to get a different ally over here. One that isn't allied to the Rasids. Oh, sorry, the other Indians. What about you? Can we ally you? Maybe. Yeah, all right. Yeah, because I need to get it to the other side, and there's no way to do that without... Uh, does this OPM MP farming make quantity kind of obsolete? Well, no, because your the amount of manpower you get is based on... This is just a way to supercharge your manpower again. Okay, seriously? I asked mill access. What the fuck? Uh, we'll have to improve relations. And then, uh, yeah, we could probably just go fight Ethiopia. Right? I mean, this, this whole operation is going to take a long time. Oh, the receipts are just uh, flipped uh, loyal, or uh, friendly, actually. Yeah, I want this straight crossing really badly. Okay. Can you give me more access, please? Just tuned in. Why do you gain manpower from piecing out? Uh, because we have this active, Neighbor Raid. Manpower is not a guaranteed good for any state. By granting the ability, the means to control the subjugated forces, we can assure new gains of manpower for the duchy. Or the tribe, or the kingdom, or the republic, or blah 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 blah. And I'm pretty sure everything with like East... Uh, I think it's culture based. So...
All right, cool. Divine Supremacy. And now we can start to work on buying down the uh, inflation. Please give me all access. Yeah, boy. All right, cool. Sure, we'll get that Royal Marriage. That's fine. Unless Yemen's got a core on you as well. And they do. And we can't, like, ask for his capital back. So eventually I'll want to break that alliance, but... 18 inflation. Well, I've got some pretty big ass uh, gold mines, so and they haven't uh, they haven't collapsed yet, which is interesting. It should be based on the enemy map bar pool on it. Shh. No, it shouldn't. No, it shouldn't. It should not be based on the enemy map bar pool at all. Shh. Don't tell Paradox. <laughs> All right, so we made it. Uh, we're ready to go fight Adam. He's got a million allies. Uh, we could call in the receipts. At least Hormuz doesn't want to join, which is very nice. And yeah, uh, Miklav, we can set you as a co belligerent. That will make us die. Mara, I'm not going to do that. Shamar, I'm not going to do that. No, we're just going to sit here. March straight into him. It's not going to be a long war. I'm not going to go for a 100% war score. I'm just going to go. I'm going to try and win real quick, yeah? That's what we're aiming to do here. This guy is down and out for the count because he's already getting occupied. And because we're declaring war from our allies' terrain, we should not get exiled. So, let's go. Going to declare war. And, in, in fact, we can call him in. The most expensive province would be... Adan. Yes, so we'll declare war for that. Call you in. Bada bing, bada fuck you. Hey, that's bad, because Hormuz not joining was actually really convenient. But okay. Based on the enemy, Manpower Pool would have some huge advantages too, based on circumstances. Uh, yeah, 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 if it was- No, it should probably be based on- it, it, The same way how the favor thing works. It's based on the one with the lowest thing. That would probably be balanced. But why are we talking about fixing this? We haven't... <laughs> be quiet. Nobody tell... Nobody tell him. I want to create my, my clone factory and I want to see how well it works. Alright, uh, so make love insta peace out. That's cute. If you die first, then call in the enemy. The enemy cannot join because the alliance is broken by dishonoring. What? Yeah, if I die first, I know, but it doesn't really matter because they wanted to join anyway. Oh, wait! They wanted to join because of the Rasids? Really? It's because I called them in? I thought it was just because they weren't getting occupied. Because they had no negatives to join. So I assumed that they just... Well, maybe we assumed wrong, but... I need to siege real quick, because we need Mukka so that we can walk across and save our homeland. Come on, buddy. Get the siege, get the siege, get the siege, get the siege.
Alright! Bring it on, buddy! I'll gladly fight you. There's absolutely no reason to do that. Other than... I really don't see how we would win that, so I'm curious to see if we can pull this out of the hat. <laughs> I'll be back in a bit. Isn't that Dutch scooter? No, it's uh... I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it's from a YouTube channel called Best Jewish Songs. So, not entirely sure. <laughs> I think this one's uh, safer though, but I, I want to listen to it myself, so I'll be back in a bit. It's just the meme looks, what are they going to do? Die on our pikes? Well, you know, I'm outnumbered 4 to 1. Um, they also have no tech disadvantage. But other than that... Uh, there's no other than that, we're just walking.
All right. What's wrong? It's uh, with League. It's a decent game to stream. I don't know. I like. Wait, hold on. I left you guys with no music at all. Oh, that's such a shame. All right. Wait. Oh no, I didn't leave you guys with no music. The song was just really quiet. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look here. Now, Hormuz is the real issue here. Not, not, not the Mamluks. Uh, what does my force limit like? 23. Alright, well, we're gonna need to use some mercenaries here. Uh, so I will be needing to slack them. I want the independent army. Oh, you can see what kind of tech they have too. So the Bedouin auxiliaries are tech 7. And I think that's because uh, they come from the Mamluks, and they have Tech 7. And I don't know if that was always like that, and you just didn't know. But, yeah, that's a thing. I don't know if... But that, yeah, so... You can hire... Let's say you can get... Uh, a province in Europe, or at least get the... Be able to hire mercenaries there. Then you could maybe hire really good mercenaries, like hire European mercenaries, and then ship them over to... Uh, India, and then, you know, fight with a tech advantage. I don't know if it always worked like that, but at least now it's visible. Will the Mercs lose morale when the Mamluks stack up? Uh, probably, no, probably not. I mean, they always will have my units. Uh, my unit pips, at least. Alright, could you please get the siege before, like, uh, hell freezes over? That would be really swell, because I don't want them to get this. Although, if they do occupy it, that means we can scorch it, and it will keep the scorch even after we unsiege it. Seriously? 71% didn't work? Watch him get this at- He's gonna get this at 21. We know he is. I'm gonna need to wait for my month tick, otherwise we'll lose anyway. Okay. So, at least he didn't get that. Uh, Hormuz is waiting for us here. Uh, this is Highland, so I'm gonna hope for the best here. Please just kill it. Quickly. Quickly. Alright, we finally got Sana. So now we can take Muka and walk across if it weren't for this guy that's taking the siege. She's very awkward indeed. Could you not? Can we statify this? No, we've already done that. Alright. Uh, Dev Edict? I don't see how we can stop that. Oh no, don't tell me. Just win. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, that was way too spooky for me. Okay, and at least he moved, so we can move around here. I don't think we should focus on occupying more provinces over here, although if we don't... Uh, am I winning this? Yeah, 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 I'm winning that. Good. If we d Wait, what? Uh, I'll still win. Yeah, I'll still win. Good. Alright, and they're retreating across for some reason, which I don't really care. Uh, do Dutch people microwave their oranges to get them easier to peel? What? <laughs> no. I don't peel my oranges. Why would you do that? You know how many vitamins are in the... in the... 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 the peel? You gotta... you gotta... you gotta bite through it, man. You gotta bite through it. I'm not gonna waste, I'm not gonna waste good peel. I'm gonna waste good orange. <laughs> what are you talking about? Weirdo. That doesn't sound very appealing. <laughs> yeah, get out. Alright, um... Yeah, so I really wish we could just piece this guy out. Um, that's what I'm mostly concerned about, believe it or not. Because he's gonna be really annoying about everything. Uh, let's see, let's get a, another conversion going here. What's up, kitty? You have your food?
think I think Kitty wants me to sit on the couch over there. But she can sit here. Come, Kitty. Get rid of that kitty already. Cats are snakes with fur. What? What? What are you? What? Okay, there you go. That that's a that's a legitimate timeout if I ever saw one. Snakes with fur. Hello, my cat is snake. No gold mine for you, Kane. No gold mine for you. Oh boy. Snakes are cool anyway. I mean, yeah, snakes are cool, I guess. I like snakes. But I mean, I wouldn't want to have a snake as a pet. Snakes aren't very cuddly. Alright, Ethiopia Tus is over. They're probably gonna dow us right now. And here come the Mamluks. And we are not exactly in a position to kill them. Uh, I'm gonna want to scorch everything over here so that we can maybe do some trickery. Uh, we'll have to try and see if we can't. Maybe. Hmm. Well, I can probably get like 100% actually. If I just keep the war going for five years. Of course, we are spending a lot of money, but we'll be okay. Okay, we finally got Adan. I think everyone needs to move over. I can't protect this. If he goes to unseach this, we just we'll just lose it. There's nothing we can do about it. Most important bit is that we uh, stack web the Mamluks a couple of times and uh, maybe get something done like that. And there they are. They're gonna move into those mountains. I'll gladly fight that actually. Seems like a good battle to fight. Oh, he's actually gonna fight my. Uh, that's also mountains. That's also mountains. This is where all my cannons are. We can afford to get more uh, cannons. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Because one of the cannons is part of the Merc Company, and we'll ship those over to Yemen as well. And then maybe it'd be better to just ask the Milaxis and have them deal deal with Hormuz. Because if we can piece them out, we'll be. That'd be really sexy if we could piece them out. This is free, free war score though. We'll go for that. Oh god! Okay, maybe not. Maybe just ignore him and just go for her moves. No, don't walk like this, you idiot. Walk like that. If I can at least piece him out, that'd be three quarters of my problems gone. And I have to do stuff over here to attract new enemies. Yeah, it's a pretty big hormones. Very sexy. Wait, you can just walk across. What the fuck are you doing? Hey, right, hold on. Fine, I'll fight you there. I don't know how many. Oh, okay, this is good. What are you doing? Stop running. No. Oh. You know, wussy are you, man? Alright, fine. We'll walk, walk this way, and they reinforce here. I can't fight this. We're doing it anyway. Right, give me three war score. Retreating there also wouldn't have netted me anything. I knew I was eventually gonna win the battle because he doesn't have that many troops. Like, there's no way they'll all be here. Oh god, this is very complicated now. He can't. Uh, enter Mukha, which is this is our lifeline here. We need this to stay occupied. That is free real estate. Are you properly attached? You are. Of course, we don't actually get to fight him. Really? You can't be serious. Stop. Also, wasn't I building more cannons? Okay, yeah, but they're gonna finish in Tajura later. Yeah, I know. He can't walk across. Okay, good. Since you're fighting the Egyptian pharaoh, will you lead the uh, Jews to the promised land now? I think so, yeah. I'm not so sure if I'd be able to demand the stuff that we need. Yeah, we can. It'd be 71% war score, and it'd be really bad, but... 
Let's just do it, and then we can form Israel and uh Yeah, let's let's just do that. I think we'll do that. Because then we can do that today if we do it right now. I think maybe. I don't know. Could also demand it like this through him, then we could get the war score way faster. But we do need to deal with uh Hormuz, if we're gonna do something like this. I can get a lot of war score from battles here. Alright, uh, Suikin is a great place to scorch because it will delay any reinforcements coming in for a long time. I'm losing 32 dockets a month though. Um, it's been a while since we played with loans, so I don't know exactly how ham we can go. I don't have a feeling for how, uh, how incredibly ham we could go, but I think 32 should be fine. Also, we have no choice but to do it like this. This is fine. I'm gonna keep my uh, admin where it is. Also, do, do we have enough faith power? No, we don't. I'm making three a month right now, because this guy is amazing. Oh, and getting my uh, clergy happy gives me more church power. Mm-hmm. Sexy. Yeah, let's make sure this is open. And, and in fact, just go this like if he doesn't want to start a siege there, then we'll just start it ourselves somewhere. Reduce inflation? Oh yeah, we can totally do that actually. I've been meaning to do that for a while. I hope we're not gonna accidentally bump into the rip. Rest in peace, cannons. This is like the charge of the light brigade, except the other way around. Well, oh god, I can't watch. Oh, oh, oh! Such expensive units. <gasps> they live. Well, depends on what you call living, but they're not dead, so I guess they're alive. I won't have to rehire them and walk them all the way over. So I'm gonna call that a win. Sure. Let's call that a win. You gotta you gotta take your wins where you can. <clears throat> so Alden's been rebuilding his military. I can't have him do that. Okay, and we just got Moskov. So now we can split this guy up. This is all very dangerous to do, but hopefully it'll do the trick. Uh, ongoing battles. What? Oh, you're in here. Huh. You don't say. All right, cute little stack. Wipe. We'll march straight into there. Because that big 28k Mamlukian army was stack wiping my cannons here, so. And there it is. And now it's gonna march back. But we float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And so, we can deal with all of our issues at once. I probably scorched the earth here, so it will take a long time for those guys to move around. Now, you're done here, I need you to make your way home. And at least secure Tayura. Or Tajura. Djibouti? That's what this is, right? It's the city? This is where Djibouti is, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, we need, we need to head home, definitely, because otherwise he's gonna like carpet teach my ass and it's gonna be terrible. Okay, uh, we're actually gonna get a sizable amount of money and war rep. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm getting this. Now, listen here. You're going to give me this. Listen to me. I'm gonna siege on Qatar and then you will give me this. It's okay, we can already move our units over to Jabrim. And I'm gonna try avoiding... So, if we can dance around his forces over here... Ah, see, going this way is terrible, because you'd have to siege down three forts to get there. Um, 
Shamar is super peaceable though, so we could deal with that along the way. Get our cannons to siege on Tabuk, and then Al Kadak is right there. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm just a little worried about these. Why do we have no access to Mara? Okay, because Aden. Okay, so I can't really do anything with that. So hoping we could piece out Hormuz, make them an old treaties, and then that this army would get exiled, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I need someone to enter a flash so I can uh, unexile my troops there. Small PP? I know. There's nothing I can really do about it. Though. I uh, wait. Hold on. We could probably send an insult to this guy. Scornful? No. And I can't embargo him either. So there's nothing I can do with my boats. Uh, with my. I don't have boats to do the thing with. Uh, privateer. Jesus, my words. <laughs> uh, Jesus, who that? Okay. Uh. Ooh, nasty. That's a bunch of extra loans there. You could take Morland if you attack five years later, the Mams. Yeah, I could, but then I have to fight all of the Mamluk allies, which is not that many. But we can also just finish it today. So at least I, I guess he won't get the achievement. It's up to you. Would you like me to get the achievement and then do start the next one? Because then we certainly won't finish today, and I'll just try and uh, properly fight the Mamluks. Because I'll need to own all of Egypt for that. Alright, this is fine. Let's just take this money. I don't know if it's gonna exile my units. Oh, if it does, we can walk straight into Cairo. Get the achievement and finish today? The There's no way I can do that. I have to stop at 7. Which is 15 minutes from now, so... <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, damn. I, I thought it was way earlier. Yeah, we can do this. We can march straight through. Because power dropping hasn't been fixed. Wow, this is very smooth, actually. And we got Krixos, the maneuver guy with three siege. He could just totally walk into Cairo. I think it's until launch we should just jump around countries. Uh, what do you mean, jump around countries? Uh, yeah, I think so too. Uh, Seventy-one percent to take four provinces is not worth. No, it's not worth, but it will allow us to form Jerusalem today. Of course it's not worth. You'd never do that. But it will allow us to form Jerusalem today. Most likely. I could also just piece him out and fight him again later. I, was, I didn't really have an attention to fight him already, but... Only issue is he's got uh, this siege. Like, he had the 28k he's sitting in a very awkward position there, so I couldn't do anything. And now we can't walk across anymore unless I hire mercenaries here, which we can't do. Hmm, shoot. I can't put a stop to this. No, I can't. Uh, he's already unseached it all, so. And it's not like we can take over the straight crossing, because we only have two galleys. Guess I could have built four, given our sailors, but that's that's about it. It's pretty much our Genkai. I guess these guys will march over to... No, I can't do that either. Okay, he just moved off of Zana. Maybe we can hire a Merc company there to retake the straight crossing. Maybe. It's a big maybe, but we can try it. Shit. Okay, yeah. This unit will finish on 11th of September. And we're just looking to grab Mukha back. That's it. And hopefully... Okay, we lost the Don. What was that? Like 30% or something? 
So I don't know how many troops are over here, and I don't know if he's targeting my guys, but yeah, you go, you guys go walk that way. Ikaoju double thank you so much for two months in a row, man. Tip matters to you, sir. I don't care if you do it about what the fuck. What is this conversation? Alright, let's go burn that. And yeah, we will be able to retake the straight, so we're good. Provided he doesn't like kill my guys there, but. Alright, cool. 21 December. Uh, they're also going to take out my ally, but they'll be pieced out instantly, and it might even be full annexed. And then, oh yeah, and then we can uh, get the core back. So I actually want them to siege this down, and hopefully they'll grab uh, that guy's land. But I do want to win this siege here, so we can get our ticking back. And also, this will want to be, will want to take care of that. He's still not stopping the Cairo siege. Okay, cool. Kyro has been taken out. And now I guess we'll head over to El Karak and uh, deal with that. I could also separate pieces. Like, how bad would this be? It wouldn't even be that bad. We could just take it. It's not worth it, certainly, but... Now we can get uh, both of the things we want. Yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a poll. We'll do a poll. Uh, after I'm able to piece out, we'll do a poll. But I really gotta stop in 12 minutes, unfortunately. Okay. And yeah, will you take- Oh, give it to the Mamluks, really? I thought he was gonna keep it for himself, but I guess not. Oh god! Um, take money, you're losing 30 ducats a month. Ah, money shmoney. Uh, what's your enthusiasm? Uh, he's still on high, but he won't be for long. Yeah, we gotta run here. There's no way. It's 40,000 units. Might be an idea to run away. Yeah, let's run. Yeah, if we can fight them separately, we'll be fine, but we're not exactly doing that. Okay, cool. Wow, we got Alexander real quick. Uh, so yeah, let's go for al -Qadic. Maybe even al Damascus. And then we'll do Carpet Sieging. Beijing is occupied by Aden. When did the war start? If I can unseach that, we'll have 100%. But I don't. Now I don't know if we should separate peace the Mamluks or not. Probably not a great idea. But yeah, I will need that occupation for sure. Fortunately, I just barely don't have enough troops to fight both his armies at once. It's just a little bit too much. I'd really like it if they pieced out uh, the Rasids. They could, but the Rasids are not on low. Are, are you gonna unseat Beja for me? Please do. Please? Can I tell you that as an objective? Okay. Uh, sure, we can go fight that. I'm not entirely sure how he even has mill access there, but sure. Okay, there you go. He pieced out. <laughs> really? That was it? Okay, they are all treaties as well. Yeah, so I have enough war score now. So we'll do a, a poll once I have this province occupied.
All right, at least these three provinces occupied, but I mean, we're gonna need that thing first. Oh, yes, and we still need to get rid of this. So how many loans do we have right now? Uh, 1,500 docks of debt. Would you pay that off? Uh, two-thirds of it. Can't do a poll, there's a prediction for that. Well, you can say we've won the prediction, because I can take it right now if I want to. Um, okay, this is... That is mountains. Uh, he is moving into Abu Arish. I'm gonna wait for him to get movement locked, and then we'll... Okay, never mind. You just change your mind, move somewhere. I can't fight this. Not both of them at once. Right, can we take Alcatra, please? Oh, come on. Just eat my thing. How many bugs have I encountered so far? Uh, man, uh, I don't know. Uh, nothing compared with the new new things, I suppose. There's been old bugs that we've seen still there. Like, I mean, at this point, it's kind of hard to tell what a bug is and what's not, right? Because of the because uh, um, <laughs> of how long some of them been in the game. Like the para dropping, is that really a bug or is that uh, working as intended? <laughs> but yeah, a lot of a lot of bugs have been fixed. Uh, wow, okay. Seriously? Okay, I thought for sure I was gonna get that one there, but... I think we're still gonna win the battle, just because of pure morale bonuses. Hey, right, you know what? I'm just gonna move in here. I don't... We'll be fine. I believe. Although, if they get it at 57, that'd be really bad. So maybe just move around a little bit. Monuments disappearing into thin air. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I thought for the Hindu one that was working as intended, though, but... Uh, the Hindu one and the Prague... Okay, are we winning this, or what are we doing? It's doing that annoying thing where it says I'm winning, but I'm not really. So I'm gonna lose this, but you'd think I'd be winning, right? Unless he runs out of morale, which he is doing very... Slowly, point one. Okay, we won, but that was a lot closer than it looked. And I finally got okay. So, if we want to... Okay, no, we still can't. Need another occupation. What's Which one's cheaper? They're both 4%. Uh, yeah, we'll go in here. It's whatever. Okay, now we can't get a good leader, so th this will just have to do it. I think we might win. Money and more will be better long term. Yeah, a lot of things will be better long term. Probably just taking the money and the war app would sure be better. And that's what I would take. But if we peace out now, then we you get to see Jerusalem today instead of tomorrow. So it's up to you if you want to see me play a new country or if you want to see me play a uh, simian for a little bit more tomorrow so that we can form jerusalem and then we'll play mutapa i think so we'll have a little bit of it yeah i i will need to occupy this though because i can't demand it from him Well, if you type it in capital letters, Igar, that's not going to help you. You know this. I don't know if we're going to win this battle. Uh, please win. No. Uh, so close. Oh, well. We tried. I still need this occupation, though. Otherwise, we can't demand it. Okay. Let's go. Right, so, if we peace out now, then we can already go get the achievements. Uh, sorry, we, we can't get the achievements, because we need to convert all of Jewish. 
don't, don't stop playing it, Seven. Don't play any longer. This is capital letters. Anyway, I could be sad now. Uh, take Jerusalem, quickly go Cora, and then you guys can see the Israel formation. Or we play a little bit more Jews tomorrow and convert Egypt and do all sorts of that stuff. But uh, it is yours. Shave Jerusalem for a day. You could do it. Justice. You could do it justice. All right. For Palestine. I would have... I, I, I can't. It's not a formable. It would be fun to have a little bit more time with Israel. All right. Uh, sure. Right. So tomorrow uh, we'll have a little bit more time with Israel so that we can properly look at the uh, mission tree and I'll also show you what happens when you try to build the third temple. It is a kind of expensive joke, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Format? I can't... Israel today, achievement tomorrow. Well, that's not, that, that, that's not possible because we'd screw ourselves way too much with this. So I would uh, take the money, the war app, and probably annul his treaties with something big. So I like to Kataman and Tlemcen, which is nothing to write home about. But I can pillage his capital. Oh, for him it actually does give aggressive expansion. Look at that. Um. Okay, I can't actually do that. He's too happy about it. I don't know how big Tlemcen is. And there's no way for me to check. But I think we have to peace out now, because he's about to... Well, actually, we could just do some of this, right? Alright, cool. I mean, I clearly won. Yeah, no, you can say I've won, because it was a question of whether or not we we're going to do it today, but that, that was up to chat, and I, I feel like... I feel like we should uh, finish it cheaper tomorrow. We'll do that and then we'll go for uh, Mutapa. Into Zululu. Right. Uh, hope this is enough to make you lose that. Can we do this? Yeah, okay, now we would accept. So I'm gonna assume that Tilem. Well, Tilem Sen is one that's further away. I don't know how big they are, but Caraman we can deal with. Tilem Sen, yeah, a bit harder. So. Let's go! And we lost the, a lot of money on war up on this, but... Right, let's give that over to Yemen. Uh, oh! Also, I want to check. Yeah, I've improved enough relations. Let's enforce religion on them and see if that will make this mission completed. Annex every heathen vassal. Ah. <coughs> Maybe a month tick needs to happen? I don't know. Uh, let's go give this land back. Wait. Stop this. Yemen. And Adan. Boop. Yeah. Seems good. Unfortunately, I don't get to pillage him. But that's okay. What? Oh, I have to wait a day. Nice. Whew. That was a rough war. A very rough war indeed. I spent a lot of money on that. Let's get rid of those merc companies and pay off. Yeah, we only have 500 ducats of debt left. Uh, also, I think. Maybe. Just maybe. We'll see what happens after a month tick. See if that exploit still works. Are you gonna do something with your land? But he hasn't sold his crown line yet. I'll let one more month tick happen and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> right, AI does this now. Look at this. An offer to trade favor for dockets from Yemen. Yemen is asking us to give them three dockets in exchange for favors. Do you accept? Sure. How cool is that? So now we got ten favors on Yemen. And then we can use that to add the trust. Do you lose stab? Oh, right. I still want to check that. Uh, cause... Okay, there's no confirmation button for that. So... <laughs> I just wanted to see what it would do. But I don't think it's going to give me... Uh... 
I don't think it's gonna give me Yaman points, fortunately. Yeah, Yaman is Jewish because I made him. I made him Jewish. Which doesn't let me finish the mission. I actually do have to integrate him. I wonder how they did that. Ah, we can rival the Mamluks now. Also, let's see. Did this change? Nah, it hasn't changed. He's not selling his crown land, so we can just sell, seize, do that. Sure, I will cover my manpower <laughs> and pay off those loans. So now we've got zero loans again. Yeah, okay. So we didn't really pay anything out of that war. That was uh, that was nice. That was really cool. All right, cool. Uh, so we got a bunch of truces that are about to run out. We can just go deal with that. And uh, yeah, I think tomorrow we'll uh, go fight the Mamluks, conquer Egypt, and uh, form Israel, basically. And then we're gonna be playing as Mutapa. Now I don't think that's gonna take long. I think it's gonna take like an hour or something like that. Cause we don't have anything else uh, to do around here, so. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you guys again tomorrow at 11 CEST. And uh, we're gonna be playing uh, Simeon and then Mutapa. Show his and Kaifa. Oh, that is a very sexy his and Kaifa. That is a very sexy his and Kaifa. Religious three, he's doing it. Um, can't really see anything else that's happening. But yeah, after Simeon, I want to do Mutapa, and then I think I'm gonna do a Masha Pahit campaign. Nice, relaxing game of Masha Pahit. Uh, if you've played Masha Pahit, I think you know what we're gonna do. But... Ah, just want to see how it goes. I don't know how good it is, but I think it's uh, actually, actually broken. Anyway, guys, bye-bye. Have a good one. See you later, alligator. Bye.